This is Comedy Central. And let's get this dance party a dancing. I was putting my body in motion and I apparently uh, started a commotion. Hello, I'm Ben Stein. My brain is a miraculous instrument. It contains the information I use to protect my money. $5,000. I'll put it up, but I won't give it up without a fight. But if you're smart enough, quick enough, and lucky enough, you can win Ben Stein's money. We are young. Heartache to heartache we stand. No promises, no demands. Love is a battlefield. And today, I'm putting $5,000 of my money on that battlefield and giving you three BattleBot cast members a chance to take it all away from me if they're smart enough, quick enough, lucky enough, and have those fast edges and things like a like a sawmill thing. Anyway, but now let's turn to the bolt to my nut, Nancy Pimentel, and find out something funny about these people. Continuing with our uh, shameless plug week of all the Comedy Central shows, and we have everybody from BattleBots on today. Sweet. Sweet. Okay, our first contestant, Bill Dwyer. Hi, Bill. How are you? Hey, Nancy. <laughs> Bill and I are old friends, but he we has none of the back. answers. <laughs> uh, and he is the color commentator on BattleBots. You guys. Come on! record my own self. Anyway, Bill, we love your show at our house. My son watches it with intense fascination. Yeah. Intense. I'm not kidding. Intense. Everybody does. It's oh, like, yeah. it's the craze. All right, but, you know, more importantly, Bill says that his turn-ons are spanking in candlelight. How about that, huh? Yeah! yeah. Hey, bring it on, Dwyer! Bring it on! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and next, we have Heidi Mark. Hi, Heidi. How are you? Hi. Hi. Announcer for Battle Box. Very good. And Very good. Uh, she's currently in a movie. Are you done with the movie? Uh, Life Without Dick? Or you're still yeah, right? I just finished Life Without Dick. Honey, I don't have to see that movie to tell you about it. Believe me. What is that movie about? <laughs> It actually starts Sarah Jessica Parker and Harry Connick Jr. And it's about hitmen and love and a dream girl. Very good. Very good. Very are good. you the dream girl? Uh, or yeah. are you the dick? I'm <laughs> the dick. <laughs> <laughs> You see what I have to put up with? Very oh. good. All right. Yeah. Heidi, well, good luck today. And finally, Bill Nye, the science guy. Yeah. And Bill is the technical expert on battle bots and has won a bazillion Emmys. Congratulations. named you Bill Nye the Science Guy, and then you went on to do science. I know, it's weird. You wouldn't expect that, but That's they so saw weird. it coming. Good thing you didn't become a porn star or something. That would have thrown their whole plan off. Now, why, is you, why do you only have one L, and why do you have two Ls? Much quicker that way, Ben. <laughs> Bill, good. All right, contestants, good luck. You're going to need everyone turn your attention, please, to our Nancy, and then to the game Pardon board, as, as we will hear Nancy read our first five topics. Okay, you guys, they are. All the President's Mechanical Men, starring Jason Robots Jr. Mm. <laughs> Places where I've got a Smokey on my tail isn't a gay reference. Uh. <laughs> when the donkey kicked Noah in the Testaments, it hurt like Holy Grail. <laughs> my favorite musical robot is Victor Cyborga. <laughs> and the humanoid handyman bent over and everyone saw his battle butt. <laughs> Contestants in the first round, quest worth anywhere from $50 to $150 of my money. We're going to start with Bill with one L. Please, Bill with one L, pick a topic. Uh, ben, how about uh, my favorite musical robot is Victor Cyborg. $100 question, musical humorist Victor Borga was best known for playing what instrument? Bill. Piano. Very good, Bill. I can see how this is going to go. You know, it's funny. Now I see what you mean about being fast. Very good. Follow up for $50. Victor Borga was born in what European country? Austria? No. Bill. Germany? No. Heidi? Oh, 
I was just going to guess. Cause well, I go ahead know. and guess. Oh, um, Switzerland. No, no, oh. no, 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 no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, very sorry. No, it was Denmark. New category, please, Nancy. Close. Denmark. Close. All right, you guys, our new category. The inventor says his fighting machine is Asian, but it looks Caucasian. Oh. Oh. And Mr. B.I.L. How about all the president's mechanical men, starring Jason Robots Jr.? $150 question. What 1999 animated film featured a small boy who befriends a huge alien robot? Bill. Giant. No. Bill. The Iron Giant. The Iron Giant it is. You're kidding, though. I knew I should have had a what kid. What is the name of the gold droid featured in the Star Wars movies? C-3PO. Very oh, nice. Okay. Very nice. I can't wait till you guys start beating the crap out of each other. Uh, new right, category, new please, category. Nancy. The perfume maker showed a fragrant disregard for fashion. Uh, when the donkey kicked Noah in the testaments. It hurt like a holy grail. Mm, $50 question. What fluffy mammal is the most mentioned animal in the Bible, according to Strong's Concordance? Heidi. Ox? No. Bill? Lion? No. Bill? The ass? Or no, donkey? No, no, no. That was a good guess, though. That was a good guess. No. And the, the fluffy animal, remember? It's a sheep. 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 Oh, sheep. sheep. $50, sheep. $50, oh, $50 follow-up. Oh, so that's okay. It's, a, it's an easy mistake to make. <laughs> $50 follow-up. Or toss-ups, if some of you got that right. In the second of the ten plagues of Egypt, what animals cover the land and plague the people? Bill, with an L. Ooh. Locusts? No. Oh, frogs, frogs. That's a hard one. That was a, that was a, that was a, that was a really hard one. I, I agree. Of course it will. Bill and Heidi, I agree that was a really hard one. Now, before I lose any more cash, I think we'll take a break. Then we'll come back and see how much more money these violent machines can take away from me right after this. A female has lured a male into foreign territory. The dance floor. Dance poorly and she'll find him inadequate. Dance too well and he'll raise suspicions amongst the pack. Instinctively, he tries to escape. Or maybe not. It's from your friends. Nice. Rolling rock beer, grab a rock. Get him! You're going down, Johnny. Good idea. Order me a drink, Aya. <laughs> the new sidekick. Service starts at 30 bucks. Fire! By Babylon 5 Season 3 on DVD. Travel through the jump gate into a universe of special features. See how aliens were created. Explore the design of Babylon 5 and much more. So the choice is yours. Babylon 5 Season 3. Buy it Tuesday on DVD. Jane and Roger spend every day saving tires. Their secret? Slime tire sealant. It's fast, safe, and the results? They're simply amazing. Slime your tires. Two growth stuff burritos. Bring it on. <laughs> it's big. It's beefy. It's the grilled stuffed burrito from Taco Bell. Seasoned beef, three melted cheeses, sealed inside a grilled tortilla. The affordable heavy duty portables, just a buck ninety nine. For the heaviest meal on wheels, think outside the barn. Spice up the night. Open till midnight or later. Tomorrow at 11, Rob Corddry hits the road with the Monsters of Government. Secretary Chow, will you sign my boob? For the Jobs and Growth Tour. Jobs and Growth! Jobs and Growth! Woo! The Daily Show with Jon Stewart, tomorrow at 11, only on Comedy Central. If it's illegal. That's marijuana. If it's immoral. He's got an apparatus strapped to his head. If it's just plain wrong. Sheriff's Department! You'll find it on Reno 911. She looks like Shirley Hempel from What's Happening. This is what's happening. Hey, hey, hey. Don't let the badge fool you. Oh, oh sweet, sweet, little mind. You're speaking English now. Reno 911. New episode Wednesday at 10.30. Only on Comedy Central. Ben 
Mr. Heinz Money right now, Bill with one L, is in the lead with $300 of my money. Nancy, have we a new category for our friends, please? We do, you guys, it is. Cranked up toys other oh. than blue balls can. <laughs> B-I-L. That sounds good to me, <laughs> that blue balls can one. Okay, $50 question. Pop Goes the Weasel is traditionally the anticipatory song in what cranky children's toy? Bill with two L's. Jack in the Box? Very good, Bill with two L's. Bill with two L's. Here's your $50 follow-up. What toy comprised of a pole, footrest, and a strong spring allows the user to propel himself by hopping? A pogo stick. Very good, Bill with two L's. A pogo stick. It's got a lot of time pogoing. Yeah, really nice. You guys are in the category. Popeye lost his temper, so he took a class in anchor management. <laughs> and you guys, we got less than two minutes, Bill Nye. I like the inventor says his fighting machine is Asian, but it looks Caucasian to me. $100 question. With America's richest ethnic mix, what U.S. state's population has the lowest percentage of Caucasians and the highest percentage of Asians? Oh. Bill with one L. California. No. <laughs> No, Hawaii. Hawaii. Oh, of course. Hawaii. Oh, even that, there was no goalie on that you question. You should have known that. Dollar $50 toss-up. It's time if you got it. On which Hawaiian <laughs> island would you find the capital city of Honolulu? Bill with one L. Hawaii. No. Heidi with one with two eyes. Waikiki. No, honey. Ah, uh, I mean, Bill. <laughs> Oahu. Oahu it is. Very oh, good. Oh, wow. <laughs> now we look like idiots. Bush Sr. built W using an old Elector set and artificial unintelligence. <laughs> May an yet another question made up by our jealous writers who can't stand the fact that George Bush won fair and square. <laughs> wow. Okay, but Bill, you have the uh, you have the choice. You want that one, don't you? Yeah, whatever you want. It's up to you. <laughs> I'll take the one next one. The humanoid handyman bent over and everyone saw his battle butt. Now this is a video <laughs> clue, a $50 video clue. Who's that sexy bitch? Who bra? is that sexy bitch? Whoa. Okay, take a look at the monitor and tell me what big tool is Nancy handling? <laughs> Bill, this Bill with two L's. A plane. Uh, judge, that'll be fine. $50. Contestant, but unfortunately, you didn't get any money, so I don't have any money to take back. But we say goodbye to you. Oh, okay. We, shall, we right. shall hope to see okay. a lot more I'll of you around. on the big and small screen. <laughs> now, when we come back, I'm going to do something very frightening, something we've never done on the show before. I'm going to play against two Bills, one with only one L. It's going to be very scary. Stay tuned. <laughs> What job do you have that gets laid the most? I mean, on average. Man, do we have a job for these guys. The Man Show's all new with new host Joe Rogan and Doug Stanhope, starting next Sunday at 10, only on Comedy Central. Hello? Oh, listen, I met the most incredible guy. I think he's an artist. I'm still at his place. I think he decided himself. We had such a wild night. Okay, makes me laugh. I'm gonna talk to you later about it. Okay, bye bye. I I really gotta go. Here's a quarter. Will you call me? Please. I love you. I love you too. Thanks. Please move forward. Play Taco Bell's Drink Big Win Gas Game. Buy a large or extra large drink and you can win instantly. Hundreds can win a year's supply of gas. Millions can win free food. To fill up both tanks, think outside the bun. Hey, fish stick, your SUV's pretty tough, right? Not when friction takes over, pal. Friction and heat cause stress and wear, which over time can make that little dinghy seem a lot heavier. Nice shooting, Tex. You need Quaker State for 4x4s, SUVs, and trucks. It's proven to reduce friction and deliver superior performance under high stress and heat. One word, pal. Carpool. Quaker State. The power to reduce friction. Don't make me send you the lab results. Grab a 
rock. All right, we're doing it. Come on, big money. Big money. Big... 900, okay. Uh, give me an L. Yes, that's an L. Okay, I'll spin again. Big money, big money, big money, big money. Yes. Uh, I will buy an I. Oh, yeah. Oh. Hi, hon. Real busy. Okay, back to the game. Woo, big money. New from Sony Ericsson. The most fun you can have with a phone. They... Talk about it. MTV2 is MTV's younger, meaner brother. Want to know who took your sandwich? It was MTV2. MTV2 promised not to date your ex-girlfriend, but did it anyway. It doesn't understand why you're so mad. MTV2 is MTV with a social problem. It's like, here's MTV, here's MTV2. Where the music's at? Oh, everybody over here, everybody over there. Oh! round begins. Bill with one L. That's three hundred dollars of my money. Bill with two L's. If two hundred dollars, that's two hundred dollars of money. I have a mere forty-five hundred dollars remaining of my original five thousand dollars stake, which I'll once again defend by becoming a comic contestant. As as we continue with shameless cross promotion week, shameless plug week, we've got these two stars of BattleBots, a great show on our show. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Ben. You're welcome. And from this point. Ben has no knowledge of these questions, right, Ben? Well, I've been looking and looking, and I can't find any answers anywhere, so I guess I don't. And, uh, you know, I called Dionne Warwick, and she told me that in this game, a Bill's going to win, so... Okay. She is a she brilliant is. lady. She, she is. is a okay, good. All right, so uh, let's look at our new categories, you guys. They are... The Swedish boxer fought like a Rock'em Stockholm oh. robot. <laughs> they accused the crazed animal in Cujo of foaming it in. Oh. Pain versus anesthetics isn't always an ether or oh. proposition. <laughs> Following Operation Denture Storm, the retiring soldier got oh. a 21 gum salute. Oh. And the automaton's hemorrhoids burned whenever she took a data dump. Oh. <laughs> Any of these. No, not I'll, well. try, I'll try pain versus anesthetics. There's no, it's an ether or proposition. All right, you guys, $200. In 1847, obstetrician James Simpson first discovered the anesthetic properties of what chemical compound? Benjamin? Opium. New. Bilal. Ether. New. B I L. Coca Cola. New. Chloroform. Chloroform. Come on, you guys. That's how you get your date. <laughs> no, you didn't ask that. You didn't ask that, Ro. Hypnol. Oh, I should have known that. All right, you guys, our new category. The electronic genius's wife left him because he was such a remote control freak. <laughs> I'll, try, I'll try. The Swedish boxer fought like a Rock'em Stockholm robot. $300. In 1959, Sweden's Ingemar Johansson upset what defender to become the first non-American world heavyweight champion in 26 years? B.I.L. Joe Lewis. New... Oh. Benjamin? Floyd Patterson. Yes! Oh, very course, good! That's right. that's right. No, that's, that's the age difference. That's very good, man. Way to step up. Way to step up. Our new category. Man. The ladies flock to the language student since he's a man of many times. Oh. Uh, I'll try. Uh, following Operation Denture Storm, the retiring soldier got a 21 gum salute. 200 bucks. At the time of his military retirement in 1993, Colin Powell had achieved what degree of rank? Ben? Lieutenant General. Uh. B I L L? Five star general. Nah. Oh, no way. B I L. Four star general. Yeah! Sweet! 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 All right, again, Sweet. Uh, horrible journeys that don't involve Steve Perry. B I L! I totally agree with that, but I'll go with the. Uh, they accused the crazed uh, animal in Cujo of foaming it in. $300. According to the Centers for Disease Control, in 1999, what stocky nocturnal forest creature led in reports of rabies in the U.S.? Benjamin? Bear. New. Bill Nye? Raccoon? No, it's Hookers on Sunset. No, it's... Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Stocky, stocky it's time, you guys! Let's look at 
at our new category. The boss told Ms. Gadget he had to terminate her because he needed a new prototype. Oh. And gentlemen, we have less than a minute. The Bill ladies talk to language students since he's a man of many tongues. Uh. $300. German, French, Italian, and Romanche are the official languages of what European country? Benjamin. Switzerland. Switzerland, you got it. <laughs> Which is somewhere close to Waikiki, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I think so. All right, our new category. The Italian soldier for hire ordered spaghetti marcinara. Oh, I'll try the Italian soldier for hire ordered spaghetti marcinara. $300. What charismatic Italian liberator fought in the Brazilian Civil War and was unsuccessfully recruited by Lincoln for the Union Army? Ben. Garibaldi. Giuseppe Garibaldi. All right. Would you look at that? The sound means the round's over, but uh, alas, there is a tie score. We are tied. Well, I have an idea. I'd like to make a suggestion. Okay. Why don't they play against each other since it's all going to charity anyway? Uh, judges? How about that? <laughs> okay. All right, you guys, I got a tiebreaker question only for the two bills. Ben, do not answer. What is the national currency of Cuba? B-I-L? Peso. Yes, yeah. you got it! Yeah. All right, now, now it is over, B-I-L. Oh. You move on with $500. Bill Nye, the science oh. guy, buddy. Sorry, we got to say goodbye to you, sir. Bill, it's been a great pleasure having you on Man, the show. Man, it was delightful. The, Thank you so much. The, the, these, la these, last, <laughs> these last few minutes do not change my opinion. You're an incredibly smart and well-informed man. We've Thank been you. honored to have you on our show. It was and we love BattleBots. Yes, well, thank you. It's the most horrifying minute of my day as I step into the isolation booth to do battle with a very, very smart B.I. with one L. For all $5,000 of my cash, it will go to charity. Stay tuned. You will not be disappointed. People ask, shoot to kill, shoot to maim. I say, empty the chamber, let the Lord decide. Would I take a bullet for my partner? I guess. I would take certainly a 22. But I gotta say, if it interfered with any of my tattoos, I'd be really pissed off and I'd demand further compensation. I'd rather bullet him. If bullets start flying, I'm getting the hell out of there. I'd take a 22 to the head of the chest. I'd take a 38 to any extremity. I would take a grazing by a 45. I'd take a bullet for my partner. I don't take shit from my partner, but I'd take a bullet for him. I don't take nothing from nobody, and I will mace you in a heartbeat. Reno 911, new episode Wednesday at 10.30, only on Comedy Central. Don't let the badge fool you. Do you have any plans tonight? No. Be at my dad's house by six. <laughs> I'm a lady killer. <laughs> Big date. Do you want some wine? Uh, no, thanks. Yeah, sure. Big surprise. Come on, dance with me. Surprise, Whoa, what's that? <gasps> Big. Oh! I was just checking these girls for breast cancer. What is this, Oprah? My boss's daughter. Tom, are you retarded? I don't really know much about the handicap. Rated PG-13. In theaters everywhere, Friday, August 22nd. Untroubled by the concerns of ordinary men, Chef Jimmy of Quiznos Sub is dedicated to one purpose. Creating the perfect focaccia bread for Quiznos Tuscan Chicken Sub. He can think of nothing else. Did I leave the gas on? It's off. Quiznos new Tuscan chicken on herb focaccia bread. Toasted to bring out the flavor. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Toasty. I want to work in a place where there's like hot chicks. Figured you want urine samples. If I get my assistant pregnant, do I get to take maternity leave? Will that health plan cover a scrotal tuck? Man, do we have a job for these guys. The triumphant return of The Man Show with new hosts Joe Rogan and Doug Stanhope starting next Sunday at 10, only on Comedy Central. Do you guys have a color copier? Black and white is not very flattering for my junk. Against just me so far, you've won five hundred dollars. That's yours to give to the charity of your choice. I bow to the Buddha nature of you, everything good and permanent in you and all other human beings. And now here comes Nancy, the lovely Nancy, your former partner, so to speak, in comedy, with the other five thousand dollars that you have a good chance of winning away from me if you can do the other five thousand dollars. Could you say yes. 
Exactly. Um, and you guys are playing for charity. You just said, what charity are you playing for? Uh, Tom Green's Nuts, Testicular Cancer Research. And I'm playing for Friends of Animals Foundation, which takes in poor lost doggies and kitties and cares oh, for them. Rabbit raccoons. No, no. Rabbit hookers. Uh, I'm going to ask you both the same 10 questions. And B-I-L, if you can get more of the correct than B-E-N, you get is $5,000. Oh, yeah. Would you like to oh. Would you like to go first or second? Second. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Your food. yeah. Oh, that's time. You're going. I swear to God. <laughs> wow. Well, There's a lot of love between the Comedy Central people. I huh? know. Well, it's all going for charity. Yes. Yeah. What is he doing? Is he doing some? <laughs> That's how he has to behave. Go ahead. Yeah. All right, Ben, I got 10 questions Ooh. and you'll have 60 oh. seconds to answer them. Are you ready? I shall do my best. Then let us begin. Meaning song drama in Greek, what term applies to plays with exaggerated characters and plots? Uh, melodrama. Yes. Which American president was in office when Yuri Gagarin became the first man in space? Uh, Kennedy. Yes. Invented in the 1700s, baba cake is traditionally soaked in what kind of Caribbean liquor? Rum. Yes. John Paul II was Archbishop of what Polish city before his papal election in 1978? Warsaw. No. The products of what infomercial pioneer include the Vegematic? Um, gee whiz. Um, Papil. Yes. Which publishing company puts out Vogue, The New Yorker, and Vanity Fair? Condé Nast. Yes. What country makes up most of Egypt's southern border? Um, Sudan. Yes. What pediatrician wrote the 1974 book, Raising Children in a Difficult Time? A Brazelton. No. What leader of the pro-family movement was born Phyllis Stewart? Phyllis Schlafly. Yes. Al Capone was indicted in 1931 for what offense? Income tax evasion. Wow, Ben, eight! <laughs> The pediatrician was Dr. Spock. Oh. Should I be scared to go in there? Yes. Hey. <laughs> How many did he get? Uh, he got a score of eight, sir. What a creep. Oh. <laughs> eight. This guy's sitting in a booth by himself with his pants down, and he's calling Ben a creep. <laughs> The same as Ben. Uh, 60 seconds. Are you ready? Yes. Let us begin. Meaning song drama in Greek, what term applies to plays with exaggerated characters and plots? Hyperbole. No. Which American president was, was in office when Yuri Gagarin became the first man in space? Eisenhower. No. Invented in the 1700s, baba cake is traditionally soaked in what kind of Caribbean liquor? Rum. Yes. John Paul II was archbishop of what Polish city before his papal election in 1978? Oh. I don't know. The products of what infomercial pioneer include the Vegematic? Ron Popeil. Yes. Which publishing company puts out Vogue, The New Yorker, and Vanity Fair magazines? Harper Bazaar. No. What country makes up most of Egypt's southern border? Go. Oh, I don't know. What pediatrician wrote the 1974 book Raising Children in a Difficult Time? Gee, Dr. Spock? Yes. What leader of the pro-family movement was born Phyllis Stewart? Oh, I uh, yeah, 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 that guy. <laughs> no, Al Capone was indicted in 1930. Tax evasion! Yeah! Come on, Nancy! Four, you got four! Come That's on! Four. Four. Jeez! Four. Four. Man! Wouldn't have taken my pants off if I had a. Uh... Oh, well. At least that was comfortable. <laughs> Uh, normally we shake hands at the end. Come of on! Give me a hearty pat on, on the back. Come on! Come on! Give me a hearty pat on the back. Get in the pool together, you guys. However, I'm somewhat humble. W.I. got it worth $500 of my money. Congratulations. This brings up for the Friends of Animals Foundation. I'm successful with every $4,500. I'll use to take on my next opponents. We're out of time. Till next time, I give three more lucky people a chance to win. 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 Consideration provided by Argus Infinite Digital Camera Kit. Needs no film. Innovative designs for today's lifestyle. Software package included to customize your photos. An American tradition since 1936 from Argus. You're watching Comedy Central. Stick around for the mysterious Comedy Central movie, Clue. Starring Madeline Kahn. Next. Hi, 
I'm Adam Delapena, and I love Gary Busey. He is my favorite actor. I've seen all his movies. When I was a kid, I had two dreams. One was to be an international space astronaut. The other was to do a show with Gary Busey. In my dreams, I travel around with him and learn his philosophy on life. Now I've got that chance to get inside his mind, to learn from Busey. Who's with Busey? I'm with Busey. I didn't come to hang out with Gary. I came to learn what makes a man a man. Is it all the stuff I'd seen in movies, or is there more? Gary promised Gary. to teach me. Right, come on out. All Don't right. talk. Let me finish this chat. <laughs> all right. Shh. Quiet. Please. Wow. How many of those did you just do? Uh, let's see. Eight, 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 eight. What's eight times four? Uh, I, I, okay. I, was, I didn't know I was going to do math. That's okay. That's... Who are you? I did, have I met you? Yeah, I'm Adam. Remember we talked about, uh, we're going to do, like, I want to do a show where I hang out with you. Remember? You said come over to the house and the door was open, so I came in. <laughs> I'm kind of remembering. Are you serious? You really don't remember? You told me to come over today. We're going to... You look different. So I... What, what, what uh, how did we meet? I called you up, I wrote you that letter that said, you know, like you're one of the greatest actors alive and, you know, on uh, when I was in college on Fridays, we used to have Gary Busey night. We even had a game, we did a, we did a, a game where every Your mother's name is Sandra, she's a housewife and a mother. Your father is Richard, he's a lawyer. Your first girlfriend, her name was Karen Thomas. He went to Sonora High School. Okay, you got a goal in life. You got a goal in life. You got three or four goals in life. What was your main one? I wanted to be a magician. No, that no. wasn't your main goal. Uh. Your main goal was to polish railroad rails. <laughs> you wanted to do that. You thought that would be magical. All right. Oh, Are you yeah. dyslexic? No, no, I'm not. I just. I am. Uh, oh. <laughs> Hi, Adam. Hi. So you're... Good to see you again. Yeah, I remember. That's no. amazing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. This. The way I start these things when All I'm right. working with somebody new. All right. First thing we do, we don't shake hands. We give each other a lovingly sensual French kiss. Wait, wow. Well, okay. Well, <laughs> that's the first thing? No. Oh, okay. okay. Jeez. <laughs> I swear to God, I thought you were not kidding. Let's go in here. All right. You don't have any blood in me? American Indian? You're, yeah. how, what percentage of it? Uh, I'm an eighth. My grandmother was half blood. I'm full-blooded Irish. Here, yeah. feel, the, feel the weight of that pot. Yeah, wow. this is beautiful. Beautiful artist in Vancouver. Beautiful artwork, Mary. Yeah. Jeez. Now, see? Yeah. That could have been a disaster. Oh, man. Okay. Feel the weight of it. Wow, that is really heavy. 1880. That could, like, stop arrows, probably. No, it couldn't stop arrows. Look okay. It reflect arrows, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I used to have one when I was a little kid, but it was from Frontierland from Disneyland. Not the same thing. Huh? Not the same thing. When I was a kid, I had one of those from Frontierland in Disneyland. Yeah. And I used to be able to buy those. Yeah. yeah. That's a real deal. Yeah. That's cool. And those are real arrows, too? Up on yeah. top? Yeah. All right. Uh, and how about that painting? Is there a story behind that? Yeah. What is it? Yeah. What? what? The story behind the painting. You're funny. My son Jay gave me this, it's a rain stick. That's not a traditional song, right? Sure. right. Cross the bridge at midnight. <laughs> See my face in the light. For line killing. Here, you take one. Uh, all right. Yeah. Okay, back up. Okay. Okay. Wait. Like this. Okay. 
Okay, <laughs> whoa. That's how you do it, okay, you come at me now. I come at you? Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right, whoa. All right, Jesus. Uh, are you with me so far? Uh, sort of, yeah. Oh, let's find those stains. Yeah. When Mother Nature isn't exactly cooperating, nothing gets the train out of the station like a spoonful of Chappelle. Chappelle, a new brand of comedy. Chappelle Show starts Wednesday, January 22nd. Iron Maiden, Edward the Great, the greatest hits. The new compilation from the band that set the standard for hard rock. Featuring 16 of the best tracks spanning Iron Maiden's entire career. Edward the Great includes all the hits like The Number of the Beast, Run to the Hills, The Trooper, The Wicker Man, and many more. This is the definitive Iron Maiden collection. Receive a limited edition Edward the Great poster. Supplies are limited, so act fast. Iron Maiden. Edward the Great. The greatest hits. Call the number on your screen now. Rush delivery is available. Up the irons. Get fit and lose fat with the awesome hour upper body home workout. The new video from the creators of the best-selling Fitness Made Simple program. Hosted by fitness celebrity John Bastow, the Awesome Hour Home Workout offers an easy-to-follow weight training routine that gets results. If you're too busy to get to the gym, or if you prefer to work out in the privacy of your own house, then you can shape up and build muscle with the Awesome Hour Upper Body Home Workout. All you need are a few free weights and a bench. Work out with John, exercise by exercise, at home and learn the keys to sculpting a lean, muscular physique. The Awesome Hour Upper Body Home Workout provides exercises to help build your chest, back, shoulders, biceps, triceps, and even abs. Just one hour or less for each workout. Now there's no time excuse for not staying in shape. Have your credit card ready and call now to start building the body of your dreams with the Awesome Hour Upper Body Home Workout. Or order online at our website, fitnessmadesimple.com. Reese's house how I imagined it? Yes. Was I scared? No. Am I lying? Yes. I never thought I'd be driving a car in Gary Busey. Get out of the way! Let's go! Your turn! You can't see anything out of the car windows because we're moving at the speed of light. It's 85. We just did a gear shift to 120. Isn't this fun? Yeah, that's good. I think I crapped my pants. Whoa. I was ready to learn what makes a man a man. I was hungry for knowledge. But Gary had his own agenda. He wanted to eat. Okay, wow, man, this is so much fun. Yeah. Oh, is that good? Yeah. So you dip it in the horseradish. Uh-huh. You let it oh, pee it okay. off. <laughs> then you put it in the salsa sauce. Mm -hmm. One drip, that's it. <laughs> I almost put up. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I've never seen anybody eat oysters in my life. What? I've never seen anybody eat oysters in my life. What's never. good about this, you suck the oysters up, and you always keep some on your face to let the oysters know that you're proud of. And the horseradish, let it drip, let it pee. And the, and the sauce here, put it in here, and then... In front of your teeth, rub it around. It has a teeth cleansing in it. What does it taste like? Like an oyster. I know, like an oyster, but I mean, like what? What? Like, give me something else to go by. Okay, it's uh, it's wet and it's cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> go on. And then, and then it gets warm. Then it drips. Mm -hmm. Ooh. It's like a uh, the symbolic the symbology of this of the mouth is eating food. The mouth to your heart is your freedom and your independence and your identity. Hold on now, let me get my crazy to English dictionary. Oh yeah, okay. What? Yeah! Hey! What's wrong? Horseradish. Oh, okay. Would it go up your nose? Oh. 
Whoa. You know you heard when your eye flashes in front of your eyes? Yeah. This is how fast it is, your whole life. And it's gone. You know, all men have a feminine side to themselves. But men are so afraid to be in connection consciously with that feminine side of themselves. So that's part of being a man. Well, all men are failed women at birth. Really? Yeah, they don't have the, whether you get the outside genitalia, it's like, oh my gosh, what have they done to me? So do you feel like, you know, when you, we're gonna show the audience all these, it's gone. Okay. It won't leave a stain. It's okay. It that was just a bit of gr a lobster gristle. Are you supposed to eat it? Well, you can eat it if you want. It just right. depends on your ability to take a risk on eating something you don't know what it is. That's what's so great about eating in the dark. You eat in the dark? Yeah, I eat a lot. You know, I eat in the dark. I don't know what I'm eating. So wait, what's the benefit of that for you? Exciting, an adventure, uh -huh. a journey. Yeah, life is an adventure. It's a celebration with honoring the truth of yourself. You should have somebody come in and booby trap your house. That way every morning is an adventure. You don't know what's going to happen. Right? No? That's one of the stupidest things I've heard. Why is that stupid? Why would I have somebody come in and booby trap my house? I don't... Because then you would not know what's going around the other corner. You know, you'd would open... Would booby trap to kill? No, just to like, maim, not maim, but like, you know, not severely injure you. Because then it would be a surprise. You open the cupboard, something comes out of you. Like what? I don't know, like what? Like a booby trap. Whatever they make booby traps out of. It's like... You have got to get something through your head. Okay. I have to be informed more. But I do... Well, I don't know. Let me think. Maybe so. I just had lunch with one of my favorite actors in the whole world. Most people would be content with that. But not me, because I'm stupid. I wanted to try to learn from Gary. I wanted him to teach me all the stuff I saw him do in the movie. Lesson one with Gary Busey, men and women. Original show. Original show. Every night at 10. Every night. Only on Comedy Central. 10 o'clock. Find them here. You will find them here. Stop saying what I'm saying. Stop saying what I'm saying. Stop it. Stop it. I hate you. I hate you. You're ugly. No, you're ugly. I'm the voice of Comedy Central. I'm the voice of Comedy Central. Give me your back. That's right. Live from New York, it's Saturday Night! Introducing the best of Barney and Farrell. Woo! The ultimate double shot of comedy from Time Life Video. Oh, oh my God, it was hot! All the gut-busting moments from SNL's heavyweights. Lay off me, I'm starving! We've got a great show lined up for you. You'll get the best of Chris Farley and the best of Will Ferrell. That's two VHS or DVDs bursting with over 50 hilarious routines, all for only $29.99. But that's not all. Hey, Saddam. Monica, you never call me anymore. Call right now with your credit card order and you'll get an incredible bonus volume, the best of Adam Sandler. You'll get all three jam-packed DVDs or VHS, and you still pay only $29.99. Would you? Definitely. You're such a whore. I know. <laughs> it's all your favorite barley. Now, you kids are probably asking yourselves, hey, Matt, how can we get back on the right track? It's all the funniest barrel. My name is Greg. I did drugs once. I am a Spartan. So check me out. Plus all the silliest Sandler. You mean a candy? <laughs> get the biggest laughs from the biggest stars plus DVD bonuses including rehearsal outtakes you didn't see live. You won't find this offer anywhere else so call now with your credit card order to get all the best of Farley, Farrell and Sandler. That's over three hours of SNL's best on three DVD or VHS for only $29.99. Oh, Call 1-800-501-9797 with your credit card to get the best of Chris Farley, Will Ferrell, and Adam Sandler on DVD or VHS for only $29.99 plus shipping and handling. That's 1-800-501-9797 to get all three volumes or order online at timelife.com. You can begin and end your day with Fitness Made Simple's new AMPM workouts with fitness celebrity John Bastow. Burn fat and build muscle by exercising with John first thing in the morning and later in the evening. The AMPM Workouts video makes it easy to incorporate short, result-producing home workouts into your daily schedule without slaving away hours in the gym. As a busy mom with two children, even I can find the time to stay in great shape with John's AMPM Workouts. Call now to order.
Would you like the power to change from this to this? Join the thousands of men and women who are changing their bodies and lives with our best-selling videos hosted by fitness celebrity John Basedow. Fitness Made Simple gives you the power to change. The power to change your body, the power to change your life. Order our power package today and get the original Fitness Made Simple workout and nutrition video plus AM, PM workouts, John's popular morning and evening exercise video for only $29.95. That's two videos for the price of one. Call now. Fitness Made Simple, bringing real results to real people. I wanted to say, watch my special, Tongue Untied. The whole show, come on. I don't sit, man. I just move, move, move. It's all about Wanda Sight. <laughs> better tune in. I mean, you better tune in. When is it again? Wanda Sykes, Tongue Untied. Premieres Friday, January 10th at 10. Only on Comedy Central. Take my damn chair. with Gary you learn a lot of things. I mean you really have to look deep and then off to the side and then dig a little like to the center of the earth but uh, it's all worth it. So he wanted to teach me something between men and women and the differences and he had a plan and you should just look at it because I can't explain it. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. Yeah, the movie. Yeah. That's not a movie, that's a book. Oh, it's a book. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's a book. It's all those John Gray books about men and women, the difference uh -huh. they are and they will always be. So uh -huh. uh, get over it and accept each other. But you don't feel there's a difference between men and women? Uh, oh, yes. Oh, there is. Okay. All men are failed women at birth. You got that one here? All I want to do is see what it's like to be a woman. I understand. That's why, that's why oh, I thought... No, no, no. It's not be a woman. It's, it's what is so special. special about a woman. I understand. I've, I've accepted the fact that what I want to do to find what's special about a woman right. is to be with women. Right. And dress like them. Right. And let them tell me what they feel like when they're dressed like that. Because I can't do that going in there as a man. But yeah. I'm not gay. I, yeah, okay. This is not gay. This I is not that. gay. Stop saying that because people... That's not good for you to say that a lot. It's, you know, he does protest too much. Um, hey, how are you? Here, he's not gay. All right, here's first store. Who shops here? Who shops here? That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. I'm, I'm interested. I'm <laughs> curious. I'm, I'm Adam, curious. Adam. Gary, I'm curious. No. I need to know these things. If I don't no. know these things, I get a headache. He was Great. so nervous this morning. He was like a little lamb, just so scary. Yeah, you were coming okay. in. Was, oh, cut okay. it. Cut it. Cut it, okay? No, we're past that now. We're not right. past the end of the now. We're the future beginning right. right now. It's harmless. Right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Perfect. This is just color and superficiality. This is, but... Is that what's special about a woman? Superficiality with her face It's not colors? superficial if it enhances her natural beauty. It's not superficial if it enhances it's, her natural beauty. I'm saying beauty. you can put it on and look real plastic. That is you can is put a, it on and enhance your natural that's beauty. That's an advanced modern oxymoron, what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. I like it, and I believe it. I mean, I believe you can Man, you have a way with using to... words. You're... I do? Yeah. <laughs> That's like a lariat that does a snake whip on your back legs. Well, on the, I mean the back of your legs, not that you have four legs, and pulls you this way. That's what that line did to me. I believed every minute of it until I looked at the quadrangle it produced with the verbs used in the sentence. This has given me the uh, courage to go forth with what my complete idea was. Really? So you had what a good time. This is a good idea in the end. Super. That's a stop sign. So our mission was to find out what was so special about a woman. So did we talk to women or watch Oprah? No, not Busey style. We did one better. So let's go out and have fun and see what we can discover about the speciality of a woman. All right. I gotta get dressed, make sure my package is in order, and uh, come and pout and seduce with my eyes and my scent. All right, so at this point in the evening, I'm thinking that if Gary and I were on a desert island, I'd kill myself so he wouldn't rape me.
that's what's special about a woman. Is the unique, they're one of a kind, and they're a blessing to men. And you needed to do this to figure that out. To no, to I man. knew I was going in that direction. Okay, you did it. Men don't know that, but this nobody this, knows this. So this is good stuff. You did it. We can go paintballing then, right? Yeah, okay. we can go paintballing now, and I'm going to show you. The S's of combat training that yes, I've had from yes. Marines and Navy SEALs. All right. I'll see you at the paintball place. All right. All right. Well, what are you doing later? You want to come over and uh, smell clothes? No, I'm cool. <laughs> Gary's an extremist. He could have just told me about the difference between men and women or why women are special, but he didn't. He showed me. He showed me. Hi, I'm David Shell, host of Insomniac. A lot of people say, Dave, what can we expect for the third season? Flashy graphics, special effects, puppets? Excuse me, I don't think so. What you can see this season is a lot of this, and sometimes this, and we all know that leads to this. Oh, Neil! Neil! Is that me? I don't even remember that happening. Insomniac with Dave Attell. He'll take you there. New episode tomorrow night at 10, only on Comedy Central. <laughs> Warning, not suited for minors. I'm the one causing the trouble here. Ah! The single most offensive movie ever made. Yeah, that's Give a good. thumbs up, you know, in the words of Michael Jackson. <laughs> the shocker comedy you've been waiting for is finally available. Oh, not now, honey, not now. It's the underground comedy movie, available only through this special TV offer. <laughs> Music by No Effect, Gutter Mouth, and more. With supermodels in the john, taking a Welcome to the What's Up Talk Show. Offensive, disgusting, and damn funny. How long are you to be on this show, mother... <laughs> With Gina Lee Nolan being naughty. <laughs> Michael Clark Duncan as the gay virgin. I'm saving myself for the right man. And Mr. Right White is right here. That's Take not you, no. Slash and Joey Buttafuoco. The yeah. underground comedy movie is available for only $19.95. Composed of brutal, in-your-face shit, such as the porno review. Oh. Arnold Schwollenbecker. Uh. Virgin Hunter and Friends. Donna of the Dead. Dick Man fights lesbians. And much, much more footage we can't show you on TV. The censors won't allow us to show you how far this movie really goes. The underground comedy movie is guaranteed to offend your money back. Only $19.95. Order now and get a bonus video absolutely free. That's two videos for only $19.95. Don't wait. Call now to guarantee the bonus video. Can't charge it? No problem. Debit it. Also available on DVD. Call the number on your screen now. Must be 18 years old to order. I consider Busey a poet warrior, so this is the moment I had been waiting for. Close quarter combat. No more buying clothes, no more transvestites, no more breasts on dudes, just me and GB in country. You ever done this? Paintball? No. Yeah. Never. I haven't either. I've used real weapons, but not these things. This is less dangerous, I hope. When you have the gun, uh -huh. you're running like this, uh -huh. and you see the enemy come up like this, Yeah. then you run, and you shoot. <laughs> You fall over shooting like that. Oh, that hurt. Okay, have you uh, have you urinated? Yes, I've urinated. Have you, have you drained your bladder? Are you free? Yeah, because yeah, if you don't, it'll come out later. Oh, you're saying I'm gonna shit myself when I want? Yeah. I'm saying I'm giving you, I'm giving you some information that your bodily fluids may penetrate your clothing fiber without warning. Got it. I got you, I got you. Okay, okay. You just saw me do... I'm ashamed. Of course I'm not. I mean, I mean that was stupid, what I just did. Okay. Now, this is a good thing for you to learn from. Okay. Do not dip under anything that's slower than you can dip. Okay. I didn't think about what just was, what was just put on my back. I have a pack, I have a, you know. Yeah. 
So I made the mistake. A mistake that simple will get you killed in combat. Send him to hell! It's not good to yell when you fire, because that'll move your diaphragm, move your chest, okay. and your... Get away! Right. Follow me. Let me see you. Yeah. That's not bad. Huh. And you did good on the tree. You peppered the tree good. Good. I hate trees. F it. Now, how many people's going to be fighting? It's going to be two on two. Me and you versus them. We Where's should have uh, code names. <laughs> okay, no one will be. Hey! That'll be it. That's a code name for both of us? It's not a code name. It's okay. a signal okay. to get your f***ing attention, you village idiot. <laughs> I can't go. Communication. Uh, you can't go that? No. I'm gonna be shot like a bird. <laughs> I know. God. How about caca? Caca? Yeah. Do caca, it. Caca! Caca! Okay. Look a beer. Like something like that. Over here. Look a beer? Yeah, just over here. <laughs> Look over here. Really high. They won't even hear it. There's a lot of seagulls. That seagull you shot, the pelican. Shut up. Keep your eyes open. Okay. Pay attention to yourself. Mm -hmm. You're with you. You take care of yourself. Don't Got think it. I'm gonna come save you. Okay. That's up to you. That's what this combat's about. All right. And these are friends. Mm -hmm which are just simply enemy, enemies in reverse. Got it. Enemies are friends in reverse. Okay. Just see if you can just get close to them. Yeah. Like emotionally close to them? No. Oh, no, okay. No, Physically close to no, them. No, no, no. Emotions are not in this. Okay. All right. Okay, here's your starting box. Okay. All right. I'm live. You're also, you're live too? Oh. oh, sorry about your foot. <laughs> Damn it. You shot yourself in the leg? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Don't Three, move. two, one, start! Man down! I got you covered, Buse. Okay. Watch out. Oh, caught one in the chin. The come man. on, get me, big boy! Ah. Come on, come on out! I'm in here! You better run. I'm in here! Whoa! Yay! Action movies, schmaction boobies. This is real. This is crazy, man. Our enemies that we were killing were good friends. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, uh, <laughs> so what did we learn? We learned what's special about a woman. We learned that war is not the answer. And we learned that Gary has a lot of answers to questions that nobody asks. And that's cool. No, these Look are at that. Like that. Yeah. Get up here. You. Up. Okay, take a look at this. Do you watch every sunset like that? Or try to? Lately I have been. These kind of things only happen for the first time once. Right. Not every day. The sun is already down eight minutes before it sets. That's the light from the sun still traveling through the atmosphere to get to our location of well, longitude and latitude. That's, that's a cool thought. That's because it's true science. The other end of that, though, is that if the sun were to go out, it would take us eight minutes to realize it went out. Right? Why are you thinking about the sun going out? Just a cool image. Huh. Don't let the sun go out on me. <laughs> Shut up. on an all-new I'm with Busey. We're gonna go find the magic Indian. Gary takes Adam on an epic adventure. Let's go, come on, follow me, come on. Enough with the running. The Indian spirits are laughing at you. I'm with Busey, next Tuesday at 10 on Comedy Central.
That's them making all the noise. <laughs> it doesn't take a genius to notice that guys love breasts. As, yes, yes. As babies, <laughs> as babies, we get milk from them, and as adults, we milk ourselves looking at them. That's right. It's the circle of life. In 1913, a New York socialite named Mary Jacobs patented the first modern bra and took her place alongside Hitler, Bin Laden, and O.J. as one of the greatest villains the world has ever known. The bra's the bouncer at the door of Club Knockers, and somehow my name is never on that list. In high school, I couldn't get a bra off with a hacksaw. <laughs> See, that's something they should teach in senior year. I don't need to know how to dissect a frog. I need to know how to get the boobs out without cutting off her oxygen. Right. <laughs> To me, sex is like an obstacle course. I gotta undo the bra and zip the jeans, get her zipper down, get my zipper down, take my pants off, make her stop laughing. <laughs> One little slip and it's back to the masturbatorium. That's, right. That's why when it comes to the art of bra removal, it's so important to know what you're doing, especially in these troubled times. Fortunately, I'm here to teach you what your dad never would. Take a look. Now, here's what I bet. As you may know, probably most ladies know this, I am the master of romance, and I bet I can unhook your bra in 10 seconds. Oh, and if no. I can't, I'll, oh, give no. you ten, I'll give you $20. No. No. no? I bet I can unhook your bra in 10 seconds flat. I don't mean to say flat, I mean 10 seconds flat. Right? <laughs> you can hold the stopwatch, there's the start button, I'll let you time me, let me get around behind so what, you. What happens if I'll tell you when to start. And if I don't do it, I'll give you $20, all right? This is my first attempt this evening to unhook a bra. Okay. Go! <laughs> yes! Okay, yeah, he got it. Yeah, he got it. <laughs> Tremendous. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. That's you think it. you can do this? Oh, yeah, I do think I can do it. I think it might be a little hard. Oh, really? All right, it's a challenge then. Go! Challenge? I scoff at your challenge. I destroyed that bra. Oh, yeah. Is it off? Yep. It's, it's off. Gone. And how long did, does that take? Did Seven. That, seven seconds. I'm practically a male prostitute. <laughs> Go. You don't have a bra on, do you? I know. Oh, ah! you, you crafty little minx. <laughs> Who's next? Who dares step up to my podium? Go. Oh no, there's three of them, two of them, three of them, come on you son of a bitch, yes, no, free and no. last, free and last, thank God almighty, free and last, uh -uh. alright, whatever, here's a lousy 20 dollars, I still got it open, <laughs> boom, got it, wow, 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 wow. What do you think? Have you ever had a bra unhooked that fast before? Uh, no, I think you're the winner, man. <laughs> that's all he'll be undoing tonight. Oh, no, that's where you're wrong, because I'll actually be unzipping my fly shortly. <laughs> if the two of you can get each other's bras off in 10 seconds, all right, okay. you get each get $20. Go! Ten, nine, eight, seven, 
eight, seven, five, 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 six, four, three, two. Oh, congratulations! But what about the kissing? What happened to the kissing? Oh, that's not kissing. Please. That's not even kissing. In 30 seconds, I will unhook all three of your bras. Oh, really? Challenge accepted? Go. All right. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is a difficult one from the back. That one's easy. All right. Second back. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, no. That one's gone. And Give the front, the front. done. <laughs> Thank you. And they've got no bras on. <laughs> yeah. The funny thing is, and I'm surprised I never thought about this, it turns out the best way to get good at unhooking bras is to pay girls on the street to let you practice on yeah. them. That's the best way to learn a lot of things. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> oh, yes. Puppies and bullets are on the way after this important message from a celebrity genitalia. It's The Man Show. Carlton Heston's penis. Hello, I'm Charlton Heston's penis. Nowadays, crime is everywhere you turn. But proper precautions can keep you and your loved ones safe. Walk only in well-lit areas. Be wary of those around you, particularly people of color. <laughs> Don't travel alone at night, and always carry one of these. Remember, safety first, and stay the hell away from my home. I'm Charlton Heston's penis. so dangerous oh my god they erased his memories this is a matter of national security i don't remember what i did but he left himself 19 clues you don't remember me do you take him for the mission he must complete I have to prevent something terrible from happening ben affleck aaron eckhart uma thurman from director john Wu. don't you believe in second chances hang on paycheck rated pg-13 starts december 25th everywhere Iverson has it lost the ball Available on DVD December 16th. The complete third season of South Park in a collector's edition three disc box set. Bad monkey. Including the Emmy nominated episode Chin Pokemon. Kite, kite. Kite. <laughs> this DVD rocks. Just listen to the critics. <laughs> Special features include mini commentaries from the creators on all 17 legendary episodes. Buy it December 16th. Let's go. Let's buy. Sorry. Oh, don't worry, honey. You'll last longer next time. Sound familiar? New Age breathing methods may come and go, but thinking about baseball is still the best way to stave off premature ejaculation. And now it's easier than ever with new Cooperstown condoms. Each Cooperstown condom comes with a likeness and career stats of a baseball hall of fame. Duke Snyder hit 40 or more home runs. Five straight years. Cooperstown condoms are also fun to trade with your friends. I'll trade you Whitey Ford and Bob Gibson for your Sandy Koufax. Thought you already had Koufax. I used him. Collect and use these all-time greats 
13-time Gold Glove winner Ozzie Smith, Dodger star Pee Wee Reese, and slugging Jew Hank Greenberg. Cooperstown condoms are fun for the ladies, too. I can't wait to have Raleigh fingers inside me. Hello, Dave Winfield. With Cooperstown condoms, you'll make her Hall of Fame every night. Who's ready for extra innings? Available wherever baseball-themed contraceptives are sold. We are back with the man show. You may or may not know that when Adam was a young man just out of high school, all that stood between him and a career in law enforcement was a handful of warrants, an illegal handgun, and a possession charge with intent to traffic. But I never lost sight of my dreams to be part of the SWAT team, and thanks to this show and a gross error in judgment on the part of the Hawthorne Police Department. My dream came true. Enjoy. Hi there, I'm Adam. I'm, uh, I'm looking to make the SWAT team. I'd like to take down some perps, you know what I mean? I'd like to hit the streets, roll with you guys. I think I got what it takes. Think you can cut the mustard? Well, I, I can cut the cheese. My girlfriend will test to that. Okay, well, let's see what you got. Let's get you suited up. All right, let's do it. Okay, you can turn around. You ready now? Yeah. All right, let's go. Oh, yeah. I can do that sort of bad boy play a thing where I hold it sideways and start yelling, calling everyone bitch. <laughs> now halt! Halt! Oh, no, uh, oh wait, that, that comes first? Yeah, that usually comes first, yeah. Okay, well, I, I'll straighten that out on the street. Let, let me tell you something. I don't play by the book. I play by this uh, pamphlet. It's, uh, it has all the stuff the book has in it, but it's, it's smaller. It's, e it's an easier read. There, that's yeah. better. Yeah. Uh, any questions? I didn't think so. Now, now, seriously, did you have any questions? Not at all. This is an M26 Air Taser. It's mm -hmm. one of our less than lethal options. It's an electrical stun gun. Mm -hmm. Shoots out 50,000 volts at 26 watts of electricity. All right. This, this is what we shoot the guys that are hopped up on PCP with? Exactly. All right. What's going to happen now is I'm going to turn this on and I'm going to give you probably a one to two second volt of electricity. Adam, what I'd like you to do is focus and try to take a step towards me. All right. That sucked! <laughs> this being a criminal sucks. Suck it. I, I like shooting people much better. Top of the world, Ma! Top of the world! I think I got him that time. You think so? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> the one I got on her shoulder would have probably gone, cleared her shoulder and probably caught him. You know, in his shoulder. Yeah. That's my plan. Okay. I don't want him to think I'm shooting it at the perp. My plan is, is I'm shooting at the hostage, well, but the bullet's passing through. You see any perps? Not yet. Not yet? Stay off drugs. Is there any drive through around here? Uh, not anywhere close. Down, criminal! Down! Get him, dude! Okay, in this scenario, what I want you to do is go through the parking lot, clear it of any bad guys, so that the rest of the team can come through. Okay? Any sure. questions? No. Okay. Gotcha. Freeze! Freeze! Step away from the vehicle! Drop the weapon! It's 
It's all clear. Oh. Okay, there's one guy left. I think he's over here. Well, Adam, I'm sorry, but uh, you didn't make it this time. Maybe next year. Yeah, yeah, I suck. Hey, uh, can, can you guys give me a lift back to the man show? Sure. Yeah, we can do that. All right, thanks. Acknowledge the brave men who made it all possible. The uh, Hawthorne Police Department. Guys, stand up. Stand up. Hey, Take oh, a bow. Nice. Nice. Our, our tax dollars at work. <laughs> all right. Get to know those guys. They'll be arresting you on your way home. Yeah. We'll be right back with the Man Show Boy. <laughs> Great. How'd you do it? Easy. The Conair Rechargeable Beard and Mustache Trimmer. Moves in close, trims any style with laser precision. Looking great. To give or to keep. The Conair Beard and Mustache Trimmer. Sure, all these OTC and prescription allergy medicines are approved for pollen, but some are not approved for pet dander and dust. Others are not approved for smoke. Only Flonase is approved to relieve the nasal symptoms from all these triggers. For best results, use daily. Side effects are generally mild and may include headache, nosebleed, and sore throat. Ask your doctor about Flonase. For all these triggers, all it takes is Flonase. Now, that's what I call music. Volume 14 is here with the hottest chart topping hits. 20 huge hits featuring all your favorite superstar artists on one CD. Plus 15 of the best videos of 2003 on the first Now That's What I Call Music DVD. Through this special TV offer, you'll get Now That's What I Call Music 14 plus the new Now DVD, the best of 2003. Both for $24.98 plus $4.95 shipping and handling. Now that's what I call music special holiday offers. All hits, all music, all for you. Order now, that's what I call music volume 14, plus now the DVD best of 2003 for $24.98 plus $4.95 shipping and handling. Rush delivery available. Call now. The curtain is rising on a brand new season of Premium Blend. Excellent. <laughs> is that right? Where 48 new comics step into the spotlight and deliver the next wave of stand-up comedy. Soccer moms make my blood boil. Just kick the ball, Cooper, kick it! Starring D.L. Hughley. They won't bomb because we have the magic of editing. <laughs> Don't miss Premium Blend premieres Friday at 10, here on Comedy Central. I got you kinda, I got you kinda Made you eat your parents Need South Park I got pills for you guys I got it, I got it Wednesday at 10 on Comedy Central <laughs> So, you know, the great alcoholic W.C. Fields once said, I never work with children or animals. Well, if he'd been here tonight, I think he would change his mind after meeting this young man, the man show boy. Yeah. <laughs> How are you, Aaron? Good. Yeah, I'm good. What's the best way to pick up girls? Why, with a cute puppy, of course. Take a look.
What's her name? Uh, Gizmo. Gizmo? He looked like a little Gizmo from the movie. My dog chases sticks. I chase chicks. <laughs> really? Yep. Good move. Uh... One of us is about to hump your leg. Couple months. His name's Boner because he gets excited a lot. We're going home to take a nap. You want to join us? Not you, weirdo. I you just use him to pick up girls, anyways. Okay, that's smart, dude. I had a puppy. It was the best thing to do. Unfortunately, I've been attracting gay guys all day, though. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> he only likes people he likes, so do I. Oh, that's lovely. I think he likes you, especially your boob area. Let's not make this about the dog. What do you okay. say me and you go out? It's the man show boy. Nice work, Aaron. We'll return with girls on trampolines because this is the man show. This holiday season, for the first time ever, Santa is... I'm on my lunch break, okay? Oh, no. For adults only. You probably shouldn't be digging in your... Outrageous. Got some lip on you, Mitch. These lips were on your wife's... Irreverent. Last night. The man is a sexual being. Hilariously nasty. You wouldn't be trying to steal nothing, would you? One of the best adult comedies ever. You're not. Bad Santa. Hit it on. Now play. The critics agree. Yeah! The cat's a must-see. How'd you get so small? It's a movie you can't miss. Joel Siegel claims no! it doesn't get much better than this. I'm so excited! It's Knockdown. Dragon. <laughs> Catch your breath funny. It's so much! It's perfect. Yo. Yeah. Mike Myers. Now that's my name! The Cat in the Hat. Rated PG. Now playing. My country tis of the sweet land of liberty Of thee I sing Land where my fathers died Land of the pilgrim side On every mountainside Let freedom ring Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Three Rated M for Mature Tomb Raider, The Cradle of Life, Special Collector's Edition DVD. It's the hottest adventure of the year. Go into Lara's world with hours of bonus features. Angelina Jolie is Lara Croft. I can't resist a bit of fun. Own it today on DVD and video. Rated PG-13. I am so hungover. And you've got to be at work in an hour. How come you feel so good? You drank more than I did. I took Chaser, remember? Chaser? Chaser Caplet. You take them right after you start drinking, and you're guaranteed never to get a hangover. Chaser is clinically proven safe and effective. It absorbs hangover-causing toxins like a sponge, so you can wake up feeling alert and energetic, not hungover. Looks like you should have taken Chaser, too. Buy Chaser today at GNC, Walgreens, and these other fine stores. Are pathetic, disgusting-looking sick people ruining your favorite telethons? Mm. Well, not anymore. Join host Steve Carell and Nancy Walls for the Laughs for Life Telethon on Comedy Central's Thanksgiving weekend. They'll be giving away an Xbox, two Xbox games, and a subscription to Xbox Live every hour, and much, much more. Watch tomorrow for your chance to win. We might get some calls on that one. The Daily Show with Jon Stewart, now flirting with integrity. The department recently unveiled its new official seal, an undeniable improvement over the previous Homeland Security logo, an eagle pissing its pants. <laughs> Weeknights at 11, only on Comedy Central. What the fuck? We're just excited because we do this all the time and it's just kind of fun to I do mean, it. I mean, it's my roommate and I love her. And <laughs> so we had a good time. We've known each other forever. And, and we, we grew up in this city. I mean, this well, is West West one. West one. Yeah. We yeah. know each other pretty well. <laughs> we kiss fairly often. So. It's, it's not you never know when you're going to bed. You get a drink after work. Where's the 
are gonna lead I you. Well, want some <laughs> chin and chip. <laughs> gonna lead you to unhooking and getting on TV. So go with it. By all means, go out. You know. <laughs> Drunk, but they make an excellent point. Yeah, it's well taken. <laughs> All right. All right, it's time for the uh, Q&A portion of the show. That stands for questions from you and answers from us. And JR from Canyon Country has the first question. JR um, says, uh, after masturbating for so many years, my ding dong, in quotes, goes to the left. Is there any way I can get it straight again? Wow. Wait a minute. What, what happened to your mustache? <laughs> what mustache? Oh, you look like a Hesher Abe Lincoln. <laughs> well, that's a new look. Um, I don't know, your, your penis is crooked? Well, I, like, it slightly goes to the left, you know, and I try and get well, it straight. What you have to do is move working. to Australia. <laughs> yeah. So, you know how no toilet water goes counterclockwise there? It'll work. The other thing my grandmother told me is to slam it between two Bibles. <laughs> Strain it right out. And it preserves it for years to come. That's I tried right. laying it That's on a right. table and using the hammer, but it didn't All work. right, Abe, have a seat. <laughs> um, where is Jeff Poikey? Where is Jeff Poikey? The hell kind of a name is that, Jeff? Jeff, uh, oh, question for me. Jimmy, I keep forgetting to wear my underwear. Can you help me remember? <laughs> well, you know, if you give me your phone number, I'll call you every morning and... Uh, it may I remind you of a few things. <laughs> you really you forget, actually forget to wear your underwear? I forgot to pack them. Yo, if you forgot to pack them, where are you here from? Portland, Oregon. Oh, really? Are you wearing them now? No. <laughs> Juggy Nicky, check and see if he's telling the truth. No. No, no. I don't. <laughs> nice. Not a bad strategy. When there are half-naked girls around, I say you leave the underwear in Portland. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, our final question is from Ryan O'Hara, and where are you, Ryan? Ryan asks, or really, this is just a statement. I love midgets, and I just wanted to let the world know that I love midgets. I love to toss them, play with them, have sex with them, and just to have them all around. And I think we, I think we need to have an all-midget army so we can take over the world with midgets. Well, I, I've midgets. been saying that for years. For years. You got my vote for president, young man. <laughs> it's sliding right under the radar. All right, everybody, raise your beer if you All would right. for the man show yeah. toast. Zingy zaggy, zingy zaggy, hard, hard, hard. Zingy zaggy, zingy zaggy, hard, hard, hard. Zingy zaggy, zingy zaggy, hard, hard, hard. And now. Zuna.
Tonight, one of these three challengers will get a chance to win our grand prize package worth over $5,000. Yeah, that's the good news. Now, the bad news. To try to stop them, we have collected the finest steel trap pop trivia minds in existence and assembled them here in our arena. Ladies and gentlemen, oh my goodness, I give you the geeks! Mark Edward Hoyk, the movie geek. I once drove two and a half hours to see a 90-minute movie. Michael Jolly, the music geek. I get knocked down. But I get up again. Paul Goble, the TV geek. My goal is to crush every challenger and become America's sweetheart. And our special guest geek, John Steverding, the Playboy geek. If I kept my Playboys under my mattress, my bed would be 20 feet off the ground. Yes, there they are, the four condoms of trivia that stand between these challengers and the fertile ground of grand prizes. But before the suffering begins, let's see who we have here. Scott, you're a probation officer. Yes, that's right, J. Keith. And uh, what's the geekiest thing about you? I'd rather stay home on a Saturday night curled up with a good book rather than go out. Oh. <laughs> He's a sensitive probation officer. Exactly. That's the cute here. Come here, you. No, no, no. We, we can't. That's not allowed. That's why the podiums are there. Uh, Dawn, you're a telephone operator. That's correct, J. Keith. And what's the geekiest thing about you? I still have all my Cabbage Patch kits. Oh. <laughs> who... Who's watching them while you're here? Are they okay? um, my cats. Okay. Would you like to say hi to the kids at home? Hi, Thomas. Hi, Diva. Uh, it's a feel-good show today. Uh, Alex, you're a server. Yes. And what's the geekiest thing about you? Uh, I like to collect 80s Transformer toys. Oh, neat. Mm -hmm. Sure. Now, what's the difference between Transformers and GoBots? Uh, Transformers are a hell of a lot cooler. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Well, all pleasantries aside, we've got to get down to some business. Challengers, only two of you will earn the right to challenge the geeks in the next round, and only one of you will make it all the way to the final round where you'll face the geek of your choice for a chance at that grand prize package. That's right. But right now, one of you must go. So we're gonna start things off with four five-point toss-up questions, hands over buzzers, in the subject of movies. In what 1983 movie did Tom Cruise dance around in his underwear? Scott. Risky business. That is correct. For five points. <laughs> movie Geek, that, that movie did really well, didn't it? Well, yeah. I mean, it was Tom Cruise and a hooker. Hooker movies always do well. I think it's because of the hookers. Okay, thank you, Movie Geek. Always provides us with a perspective that we hadn't considered. All right, in the subject of music, what L.A. band had a Billboard Top 10 hit in 1999 with a song called Scar Tissue? Scott. Red Hot Chili Peppers. That is correct. Five points. Good. In the subject of Playboy, what did Hugh Hefner call the cocktail waitresses at his Playboy clubs? Alex. Bunnies. Bunnies is correct. Playboy bunnies. All right, challengers, here's your last five-point question. In the subject of TV, what real-life police drama's theme song is Bad Boys by Inner Circle? Alex. Cops. Cops is right for five points. TV geek, I'm, I'm guessing you like watching cops. Man, I loves me some cops. There is nothing better than watching Trailer Trash get arrested on TV. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you, TV Geek. All right, challengers, you guys are pretty warmed up. Let's look at the scores here. We've got Scott with 10, Alex with 10, Dawn yet to get on the board. Here come your last four questions. These are worth 10 points each. And remember, only the two of you in the lead after these questions will be judged worthy to take on the geeks in the next round. So Dawn, maybe, you know, scoring might be an idea, just suggesting. <laughs> All right, here we go for 10 points. In the subject of TV, what was the name of Scooby-Doo's nephew? Dawn. Scrappy. Scrappy do is correct. See what happens when you take my advice? We're all tied up. In the subject of movies, what actress portrayed the puking, head spinning girl named Reagan in 1973's The Exorcist? Scott. Linda Blair. Linda Blair is right. Movie geek, The Exorcist. Uh, good movie, but it didn't scare me. Uh, you want a really scary movie, rent Dario Argento's Suspiria. I've seen it 11 times. Okay, thank you, movie geek. Challengers, in the subject of Playboy, what Playboy Festival was first held in the summer of 1959? Dawn. The Playboy Jazz Festival. That is correct for 10 points. Playboy Geek, have you ever been to one of the jazz festivals? No, I haven't. There's not enough naked chicks there. <laughs> I'm surprised you're here tonight. Thank you, Playboy Geek. Challengers, in the subject of music, what DJ was the rapping partner of the Fresh Prince on the 1991 hit Summertime? 
Dawn. Jazzy Jeff. Yes, DJ Jazzy Jeff is correct. Dawn coming back strong. Hey, what do you know? That was the last 10 point question. We're done with the toss ups. Let's look at the score here. We've got Dawn coming back strong with 30, Scott with 20. Alex, you only got 10. You just weren't in a good place today, so we're going to have to say goodbye to you, all right? Well, that's the rules. We've got some lovely parting gifts for you, but please, as you are now, leave. All right. Dawn and Scott, you two have proven yourselves worthy to play against the geeks in the next round. You're going to have two minutes to rest. But when we come back, the two spud webs will see if they can dunk on the shack attack of trivia in the challenge round. Don't miss it. One, two, three, four, let's go. I haven't met. Five. Who's this? It's Lars, my personal trainer. Got a great new sandwich. Gonna be really, really busy. Got to get in shape. Arby's new homestyle pot roast sandwich. Real slow cooked pot roast with cheddar and a kickin' ranch sauce all on our new soft baguette. Let's go, Fluffy, pick it up. Try Arby's new homestyle pot roast sandwich. What are you eating today? Come on over, yeah. Let's see what you got. Here we go. Impress the little light. When the target's refreshment, a hard mic's is good to find. What's it gonna be, boy? I can wait all night. What's it gonna be, boy? Yes or no? What's it gonna be, boy? Let me sleep on it, baby, baby, let me sleep on it. Let me sleep on it, I'll give you an answer in the morning. Let me sleep on it, baby, baby, let me sleep on it. Let me sleep on it, I'll give you an answer in the morning. Let me sleep on it. Sleep on it. Well, let me sleep on it. I'll give it one out when I'm on it. Well, let me sleep on it. Baby, baby, let me sleep on it. Well, let me sleep on it. Wednesday on Blick, is Jiminy Spielberg's biggest fan? You've made so many films. When are you going to do the big one? What do you mean big one? Something that clicks with the pop. Like, I'd know? love to see it because I think you did. It's a new episode of Primetime Blick, Wednesday at 10.30, only on Comedy Central. Hey, welcome back to Beat the Geeks. I'm Tiffany. And my G-spot, right here. Good to know. Thanks, Tiffany. All right, challengers, the two of you have made it this far. Congratulations, you are both still eligible for that grand prize package worth over $5,000. However, now the game gets tougher because now you will be playing against the geeks themselves. Yes, yes. In this first challenge round, each one of you will get a chance to challenge a geek and try to take his medal. All the medals are worth 20 points except for our guest geek. If you can beat him, we'll give you an extra 10 points. Dawn, you are in the lead, so you go first. Please challenge a geek. I challenge the TV geek. TV geek, you have been challenged. What's up? All right, now, uh, since you probably don't know as much as our expert over here, we've leveled the playing field. Relatively easy questions for you, impossibly difficult ones for the geek. Geek, for every easy question your challenger gets right, you will have to answer a harder geek-level question in order to defend your medal. If you should fail, you will have to surrender your medal, and the challenger will get 20 points. And, as you all know, you are being closely monitored. If you give any indication that you are no longer the geek we thought you were, you may be replaced. And, uh, guys, let's face it, you are all one lucky set of geeks, so don't let your guard down, all right? Thanks, boys. All right, Don, your first question is a visual. Who is this? That is Julia Louis-Dreyfus. That is correct. TV Geek, another visual for you. Please tell me, who is this? That looks to be uh, SNL star Molly Shannon. And that's who it is. Very good. John, we move on to another pair of questions. This one's for you. Bill Nye the Science Guy, along with having his own series, provides his technical expertise on what Comedy Central program? I want to say the Jon Stewart show, but I'm probably wrong. Is that your answer? That's my answer. That is wrong. All right, Scott, you have a chance to steal. Get 10 points for yourself if you can tell me the correct answer. I don't know. Oh. 
No points awarded there. TV Geek, tell them the name of this fine Comedy Central that show. That is the best sporting event on TV, BattleBots. BattleBots is correct. All right, we still got a score of 30 to 20. Scott, you're up next, so please select a geek to challenge. I'm going to challenge the movie geek. Movie geek, you have been challenged. Remember Animal House? You're the one on double secret probation now, mister. Scott, here's a visual question for you in movies. What old guy action star is this? Clint Eastwood. That is correct. Movie Geek, another question for you. In which 1983 Dirty Harry movie did we first hear, Go Ahead, Make My Day? That was the fourth in the Dirty Harry series. Uh, the first one to feature his uh, then paramour, Sandra Locke, Sudden Impact. That is correct. A little bonus material as well. Thanks, Movie Geek. <laughs> All right, another pair of questions. Scott, what actress who was once married to Frank Sinatra is the daughter of Tarzan lady Maureen O'Sullivan? Mia Farrow. That is correct. Movie Geek, this one's a little trickier for you. Name six movies in which Woody Allen directed Mia Farrow. Ooh, okay. Husbands and Wives, The Purple Rose of Cairo, Radio Days, Crimes and Misdemeanors, Hannah and Her Sisters, and September. Those are all correct. Yeah. A successful defense of the medal. All right, Scott, the Movie Geek has successfully defended his medal twice. That means in order to decide this challenge, we're going to go to the 15-second Geek Off. When I say go, you will have 15 seconds to name as many well-known valid responses as you can in the following category. Are you ready? Yes. 15 seconds on the clock, please. The category is movies in which Robin Williams has appeared. Go. <sighs> Bicentennial Man. Uh... <sighs> Popeye. Um. Oh. Only two, Scott. Two valid responses. Yeah. Of course, there was uh, Flubber. There's always <laughs> Flubber. <laughs> hey, Movie Geek, since Scott got two valid responses, you must get three in order to defend your medal. Your category is going to be a little harder, but you also will have 15 seconds. Your category is movies in which Robin Wright Penn has appeared. Go. The Crossing Guard, Forrest Gump, Maul Flanders. The Princess Bride. And, uh, let's leave it at that. All right, you did get four. That is more than three. You have successfully defended your medal. All right, then, let's look at the scores here. Hey, what do you know? It's still 30 to 20. We've had uh, two geeks challenged, and both geeks have defended their medal. But when we come back, things are going to change big time. The medals will be worth double, and there will be far tolerance for sloppy answers. You won't want to miss it here on Beat the Geeks. There is one rule of survival in Yankerville. Crank. Yay! Or be cranked. What do you want? It's Crank Anchor Season 2, taking the crank to a whole new level. To put it in pizza terms, I just want to be pounded like a piece of dough, you know what I mean? I just need a big pepperoni. Damn, sound me like you're a low bread. Bread makes me poop. Do you have eight pound balls? Yes, I have three of them. <laughs> crank Yankers, an all new episode this Tuesday night at 10, only on Comedy Central. sliced all white chicken breast alfredo sauce made from rich cream garlic and parmesan i'd like to introduce my newest pizza papa john's grilled chicken alfredo you expect the best we deliver try our new grilled chicken alfredo just 10.99 call us now we'll be right there better ingredients better pizza papa john's admit it it's okay you're a procrastinator. Good, because now putting things off actually pays off. Travelocity has last minute deals that will save your hide and reward the wallet it's sitting on. Take a look. Get deals including airfare and hotel as low as $150.
Now that's worth looking into. But you know, no hurry. You can always do it later. Last minute deals at Travelocity. Call or see site for details. Dream of being an actor or supermodel? Now's your chance. Wilhelmina Scouting Network, the world's largest scouting company, is holding a free open call in your area this week. We have found talent that have graced the pages of the world's leading magazines, including Vogue and Cosmo. And our actors have appeared in many major movies, such as Legally Blonde 2. Call 1-800-MODELING now to reserve your spot. That's 1-800-MODELING. Operators are standing by. Space is limited. Call now. You knew the benefits of minimum coverage from Safe Auto. Yeah. Can you turn it up? I can barely hear it. Awesome. You might be a big fan too. 1 800 Safe Auto. Minimum coverage for minimum budget. Safe Auto. Safe, safe Auto. In the morning, I like to get up and just have a little breakfast, come out, watch something, something light, maybe uh, Bewitched rerun or uh, the monkeys. It's important to uh, be familiar with your remote. So um, here is good or here you can leave it or I find here is the best place because that's just uh, it's very convenient you know either hand you can grab it. Duke's a hazard taxi Banachek. Welcome back to Beat the Geeks. We have a close game. No geeks have been beaten, no medals awarded. But Don and Scott, it's time now for two more challenges. However, in this round, geek medals are worth 40 points each. And don't forget, you can still get an extra 10 points for beating our special guest geek. And of course, the points are crucial because only the one of you with the most points will get a shot at that grand prize package. And that's the reason, frankly, you're here. Now, Scott, you need the most help, so this time you go first. Please challenge a geek. I challenge a TV geek. TV geek, you have been challenged. All right, man. I, I don't know if you were watching the first round, but I got a little more for you. All right. All right, you've got more for you. Let's see what you have for him. Name one regular host of Talk Soup. Greg Kinnear. That is correct. <laughs> TV geek. Name the rest of the hosts of Talk Soup. <clears throat> well, after Greg Kinnear uh, was uh, John Henson, who was very funny. And then uh, when he left, it was the George Lazenby of talk show hosts, uh, Hal Sparks, who was <laughs> terrible. And uh, the, current, uh, the current host is the uh, beautiful and talented Aisha Tyler. That is correct. You got all of them and in order. All right. Scott, the TV Geek has successfully defended his medal, so we're going to move on to another pair of questions. This one is a visual. Who is this? Uh, Jane Kaczmarek. That's correct. <laughs> From uh, Malcolm in the Middle. All right. TV Geek, he doesn't seem to be having any problems. Let's see uh, if you so do. Far. In what failed 1993 CBS sitcom did Jane co-star with David Morse and Adam Arkin? I'm going to have to go with Busting Loose. That is incorrect. Oh. Correct answer, Big Wave Dave. TV Geek, you must surrender your medal in shame. He was so confident, so cocky, and now so full of shame. The horror. <laughs> Scott, well done. You got the points. You got the medal. Your challenge is done. Don, it's now your turn. Now remember, once a geek has been defeated, he cannot be challenged again. The choice is yours, so please make one now. I challenge the music geek. Music geek, you have been challenged. I have a feeling this will be over faster than a Ramones song. <laughs> Don, here's your question, also a visual. Who is this? Elton John. That's among the easiest questions I've ever <laughs> seen. Yes, that's correct. All right, Music Geek, a more difficult question for you. Okay. Elton named his 1988 album after himself. What is his real name and the name of that album? Okay, that album, uh, which had uh, hits like a uh, word in Spanish and don't want to go on with you like that, was called Reg Strikes Back. And that's because uh, his uh, original name, his name now is, of course, Elton Hercules John. But back when he was born on his birth certificate, it is a Reginald K. Dwight. That is correct. All the pieces of information. All right, Don, we move on to another pair of questions. 
What lead singer left Rage Against the Machine in 2000, citing irreconcilable differences? Uh, I don't know. I don't, don't know. know. All right, Scott, an opportunity for you. You can get 10 points if you can tell me the correct answer. Zach De La Rocha. That is correct. A successful steal and 10 points. All right, that is the end of the challenge rounds. We've got a score now of 70 to 30. And now, my friends, it all comes down to... The Geekalizer. That's right, it still is anybody's game because the Geekalizer could be worth up to 150 points. Don and Scott, I'm going to start naming titles, people, phrases, and things. You will have two seconds to tell me whether each one is currently best known for movies, TV, or music. For each answer you get correctly, you'll get 10 points. Answer incorrectly or freeze, and the Geekalizer is over for you. Don, you're behind, so you're going to go first. You need 40 points to stay in the game, which means you must get at least four of these in a row. Are you ready? Yes. Let's Geekalize. Hip-hop. Music. Misty Mountain Hop. That would be music. Dennis Hopper. Movies. Hoppy the Hopposaurus. TV. Hop Sing. That would be music. Oh. Incorrect. TV Geek, who's Hop Sing? Hop Sing is the houseboy of the Cartwrights on Bonanza. That is correct. <laughs> Don, you did catch up, though. You got four right, which means we've now got a tie game at 70. That means, Scott, you'll have a Geekalizer as well. But you just need one answer to win this game. Let's Geekalize. From Russia with Love. Movies. That's it. Just needed one and you got it. Scott is our winner. Don, I'm sorry you just couldn't pull it out. You came close. We do have some lovely parting gifts for you. If you'll please just exit the Geek Arena now. Bye bye now. All right. Scott, hey, it happens. Scott is our final challenger and is going through to the Geek to Geek Showdown for a chance at an amazing grand prize. Now, of course, what you get, Scott, depends on which geek you beat. So which geek do you challenge for the final showdown? I challenge the movie geek. Movie geek, you big challenge. Hope you've got that good book waiting for you at home, because that's all you're going to have when you leave here. Oh. If you beat our movie geek, we're going to hook you up sweet. First, you're getting a collection of DVDs from 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment. Then, Rhino, your one-stop pop culture shop, is putting you on their new release mailing list for an entire year. Over 200 CDs, movie soundtracks, and box sets delivered right to your door. And then, you can toss out your VCR because you're getting a TiVo. Digitally record up to 30 hours of movies, and then watch them when you're damn good and ready. It's a grand prize package worth over $5,000. Don't go anywhere because when we come back, we're going for the Geek Land Speed Record of Trivia. So brace yourselves for the sonic boom. Stand up comedy where it belongs. You said that raising cattle was bad for the planet. Comedy Central presents Ron White. What are you doing to help the environment? I'm eating the cow. New episode tonight at 10, only on Comedy Central. Free your head without clouding your mind. Now you can have non-drowsy relief from sneezing, sniffling, and your stuffy head. Prescription Strength Claritin D targets all your worst allergy symptoms, even congestion and sinus pressure, without medicine haze. Help open your sinuses, reawaken your senses. Non-drowsy Claritin D. Clarity for mind, body, and spirit. hard to make the best wireless network even better. Can you hear me now? Good. Everyone starts to notice. Verizon Wireless. We never stop working for you. The Home Depot is more than a store. It's a plant menagerie, a fireworks show that lasts all year long, a place filled with ideas and supplies to make them grow. It's our one-year plant guarantee, so it doesn't matter what color your thumb is. It's baskets of flowers and bushels of plants. It's the guaranteed low price every day to make every dollar work. It's where the garden in your dreams becomes the garden in your backyard. The Home Depot. You can do it. We can help. There are two basic ways to help protect you in an unavoidable collision. Attempt to insulate you from the unavoidable collision. Or try
try to redefine the word unavoidable. Test drive the BMW 5 Series today. Once in a great while, a television show makes us question everything. Attention shoppers, please stay calm. Do not provoke the bear. New cities, new cast. It's a new episode of Trigger Happy TV, Monday at 10. Welcome back to Beat the Geeks. In just a moment, Scott will be facing off against the movie geek for a chance at that great grand prize worth over $5,000. This is going to be interesting because Scott has already lost to the movie geek in this show. Let's check in on the action. Okay, as you both know, this is the geek to geek Showdown. The rules are simple. For each category, you can choose a one, two, or three-point question. The first person to seven points wins. Now, the more the points, the harder the question. For each category, the movie geek cannot choose an easier question than the challenger. Scott, as the challenger, you get a head start. The category is superhero movies. Would you like a one, two, or three-point question? I'll go for a two-point question. All right, for two points. In what 1991 film did Bill Campbell play the jetpack-wearing hero Cliff Secord? The Rocketeer. That is correct for two points. <laughs> Movie Geek, a two or three-point question. Truth, justice, and three points, please. <laughs> for three points, what 1984 movie starring Peter Weller first declared, no matter where you go, there you are? Written and directed by W.D. Richter. Richter. The Adventures of Buckaroo Banzai Across the Eighth Dimension. That is the complete title and completely correct for three points. Scott, you're down three to two. The next category is volcano movies. Would you like a one, two, or three point question? Uh, I'll go for another two point question. For two points. What 1997 volcano movie began with Pierce Brosnan's girlfriend being killed by a flying, smoldering rock? I can't, I don't know. Oh. No answer given. The correct answer, Dante's Peak. Dante's Peak. All right, Movie Geek, same category to you. Would you like a two or three point question? I'm feeling charitable. Two points. All right, very interesting. For two points, what fatal fictional disease is Joe diagnosed with in the 1990 movie Joe vs. the Volcano? Uh, the great character actor Robert Stack tells Tom Hanks he is suffering from a brain cloud. That is correct. <laughs> wow, we. All right, Scott. The next category is sexually ambiguous roles. Would you like a one, two, or three point question? Wow. Um, I think I'll go for a three point. All right, for three points. I'm tying you with the movie Geek. Who made out with actor Jay Davidson in Neil Jordan's The Crying Game? Stephen Ray. That is correct for three points. All right, movie Geek, we've got a tie game. You have five points. You just need seven points to win. This is going to be a three-point question for you. Get this correct. The game is over, and victory is yours. What was the title of the 1982 movie which starred Kate Jackson, Michael Antkeen, and Harry Hamlin in a bizarre love triangle? Uh, written by the great writer Barry Sandler, who also gave us Crimes of Passion and The Duchess and the Dirtwater Fox, one of the first uh, mainstream Hollywood films to deal with the topic of homosexuality. The name of the film is Making Love. That is correct. He is the geek, and the geek has won the showdown. Congratulations. You have successfully defended your honor yet again. All right, Scott, what can I say? You put up a valiant defense, but in the end, he was just too much geek for you. Hey, everybody, I'm J.P. Van Stratton. Join us next time when little trivia wannabes are tossed around like rag dolls by monster geek gorillas. You won't want to miss it. Beat the geek. See you then. If you enjoyed this coming together of the greatest minds of pop culture trivia, make sure to tune in when Comedy Central's newest game show, Beat the Geeks, premieres Monday, December 10th at 7.30, here on Comedy Central. Do you have what it takes to beat the geeks? Rob Smith, you have been challenged. Go to Korea. There you will be given five tasks. Should you fail one of these tasks, we will make you do something really horrid. The more you fail, the more unpleasant it will become. It's got like an erect penis. You have five days. Fucking hell! 
get going. This is Korea, and I'm standing on top of the Seoul Tower, which overlooks the capital city. Although, unfortunately, it's the monsoon season, it's very cloudy, you can't see much. But trust me, it's huge. Never mind that, what interests me is that over there, there are communists pointing nuclear weapons at us right now, and down there, they eat dogs. This is Claire, she's my fixer. We've got my first challenge. Let's have a look. Oh. Challenge one, eat the foulest food in Korea. We headed straight for a nearby food market. We didn't need a map, we could smell it miles away. Sorry to interrupt you, but here is a pig's head. <laughs> is that for, is that like a wall decoration, or would someone also, eat that? When we open up the business in, in Korea, yeah. we put the, like a banknote between their lips. Well, good luck. Oh. Right. If it's good luck to business, I want it. There you go. Pig. There's no need to wrap it up. So I have to put a banknote in the mouth of my pig. I had a piggy bank when I was a kid, I must admit, it was nothing like this. But this would encourage any young child to save. Ah, pig's there. <laughs> so, armed with my lucky porker, I went off searching for the worst nosh Korea could provide. What's that? Pig. Smoked pig feet. Let's see just how disgusting this is. That doesn't taste bad at all, actually. I'm sure we can find something more disgusting than that. My pig's head certainly seemed to be attracting a lot of attention. Hello. Hi, how's it going, oh, mate? Oh, well, businessman. Well, he is a businessman, he's just oh. taking the money. <laughs> for, your, for your pig. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Kiss. Hello, hello. Kiss. Hey. Beautiful. You are a romantic man. Ah, oh, what's in here? Eels. For the pets. They're, they're not for eating. It's very hard to tell the difference between a restaurant and a pet shop in Korea. Uh, it's a problem we're probably going to face later on, but those are eels. are going to make a child very happy. <laughs> Beautiful, you see? <laughs> you see, this is the mistake I've been making all my life. I've been going out without a pig's head. Chicks love it. <laughs> oh, Aiba! Oh, oh, oh. What I was saying about the pig attracting women, <laughs> it may be too powerful because even extraordinarily ugly women are now attacking me. One dish that Korea is famous for is dog, which they eat to enhance their virility. The most popular meat comes from the St Bernard and Claire took me to a local dog restaurant to see how it tastes. So we're in the Four Seasons restaurant. Four Seasons over here is a euphemism for dog. Uh, it just means it's good the whole year round. How do they prepare my uh, my hound? So we have a problem here. Ah, what's the problem? They, they don't want to be in the fam. Koreans are getting touchy about Westerners filming in their dog restaurants, partly because it's officially illegal, but mainly because most Westerners find the idea of tucking into Fido a little upsetting. So we're going to have to be a bit more uh, subtle next time. I'm just going to send Claire in to the next restaurant to buy some takeaway dog, uh, and that way we'll know how disgusting it is. I wasn't too worried myself, as I'm more of a cat man. And it's David Duckham to Barry John, the barbarians are going to score! This is what your takeaway dog comes with. Got a nice selection of vegetables there. And here is the pedigree chum. A little bit of chilli on there. A bit of hot dog. And it tastes about how you'd expect it to taste. Something that spent a long time licking its own arse. Eating dog wasn't much fun, but I needed a truly revolting foodstuff to complete my challenge. So we went to the local supermarket. Have you got any insects? Silkworm cocoons. So this is... Oh, the smell on these is something else. I'm only going to eat one of these. I think that's enough. It tastes better than it looks. No? <laughs> That's my favourite. It tastes like you're eating a woodlouse which has been kept in somebody's armpit for three days. Well, that was rank, but not rank enough. Claire assured me that if we went to the seafood market, we'd find something I really couldn't stomach. I thought she was underestimating me. Sure, I wouldn't exactly relish the thought of these things sharing my bathtub, 
but they didn't look any more nauseating than a fish cake. What have we got here, Claire? I have had squid before. Why is this unusual? It's alive. I don't kill it. I eat it while it's still alive. Yeah. Will it not you attach get... itself oh. to my... I eat the head. Come on, <laughs> Uh, yeah. oh, it's attaching its look, look, look at that. It's not going to put me in hospital. Oh, that's its brain or something. Oh. I'd seen how it was done. <laughs> now it was my turn. Oh, oh, it's got like an erect penis. This has got to be the most horrid thing you can eat. A live squid, which is putting ink all over me still. Here we go. Oh, can't get it in. I've certainly tasted it, but it is still a squid. I'll have one more go. Oh. <laughs> I can't get that down. I really can't. I'd love to. I'm happy to admit, I failed the challenge. My director is saying, go on, you've nearly finished it. The fact is, I've been chewing this for maybe four minutes solid. I haven't even, I haven't even made an inroad in, in, into the ink set. I'm not going to swallow that anymore. Fuck you! OK, OK, so I'd had a pretty bad start. But once the director and I were back on speaking terms, we left Seoul and took a road that headed north, towards the Communists. Challenge 2. Play golf in a war zone. In the 1950s, Korea had a civil war. The Chinese and the Americans got involved, and it all ended up in a stalemate along the 38th parallel. The no-man's land between North and South is called the Demilitarized Zone, or the DMZ. I got permission to visit a US Army base, and it sure didn't look very demilitarized to me. Why do these uh, guard ha guards have to stand sort of half behind the wall and half in front of it? It seems rather odd. Basically what they're saying is it provides cover for them. Um, if somebody starts shooting down here, they're, they're half exposed at the same time, they can still maintain visual contact with North Korea. On the other side of those blue huts, North Korean snipers glowered down at us, still officially at war. We were shown into the guardhouse where the South Korean soldiers tried to look intimidating with their dark glasses and clenched fists. There's a North Korean over there. I wasn't brave enough to ask him for a game of golf. Mind you, the good guys didn't seem very friendly either, keeping a stern silence even when I said they could tee off first. Luckily, the Yanks were more sporting, and I met up with a captain from Louisiana. This is my opponent, Captain Burgoyne. We got three more points. There's five people playing. We got five people playing. Right. Who are the other ones? Pleasure nice to meet you, you sir. Coach Watkins, he was a scout. Hello, Watkins. And then Sergeant Arbizo is the team leader Hello, in the scout team. The world's most dangerous golf course, as featured in Sports Illustrated. They're actually bringing some grenades with them. <laughs> The course we were about to play was directly next to the border, with North Korean guns and missiles pointing in our direction. A straight tee shot is essential, because there are minefields flanking the fairway. Oh God! Very slippery club, this. Any more excuses? I'm not wearing the right shoes. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm expecting the US Army to be quite good at finding balls. <laughs> Yeah. Shot. Get on. It's a disaster. The green is so small I've gone off the bank. A lot of the army seem to be taking mulligans. A mulligan, for those of you who don't know much about golf, is a free shot, given if you're doing an appallingly bad one. You get one per round, just to let you off your hangover or whatever. They've all started claiming them. I didn't need to. Some people could question the fairness of this. Not me. It wasn't quite Ryder Cup standards, but I was trying my best. We agreed to play the best of two holes, so a good start was essential. Not bad. Oh. Get in there. Luckily, I did pretty well, and I was certainly in the running. But at the second tee, they invoked a local rule which allowed them to use smoke bombs. <laughs> Not played golf under these conditions before. <laughs> It was off-putting, but I was still looking good, until one of them drove his ball oh. right onto the green. And then, let off a stun grenade. Oh. 
They obviously had far too much spare ammo, because whenever I took a shot, it was like saving Private Ryan. But I still had a putt to win. Oh, the agony of sports. <laughs> Sergeant Brady from San Diego, California, is today's golf champion. Uh, Captain Burgoyne came second. I was third, middle of the field. Not bad. I am afraid I've failed this challenge. I have not won. Airborne Ranger, Airborne Ranger, where have you been? There was still time for some diplomacy, however. Taking out the driver, we all had a crack at disturbing the North Korean spies and military observers hiding in the trees. That is in the DMZ. Are pathetic, disgusting looking sick people ruining your favorite telethons? Mm. Well, not anymore. Join host Steve Carell and Nancy Walls for the Laughs for Life Telethon on Comedy Central's Thanksgiving Away weekend. They'll be giving away an Xbox, two Xbox games, and a subscription to Xbox Live every hour, and much, much more. Watch tomorrow for your chance to win. We might get some calls on that one. New South Park. South Park. Wednesday South at Park. 10 South on Comedy Central. South Park. A clean park is a happy park. People sick. Just one of the fun things you can do with the Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 Combo Pack and the Time Twister Expansion Pack. Rated everyone. Tomorrow's the biggest shopping day of the year. So wake up early, beat the traffic, and pick up the perfect holiday gift. Bruce Almighty. The DVD is packed with hilarious deleted scenes and bloopers. Buy it on DVD and video. Well, you boys ready for a whooping? Because this is my team. Bring it on, Doc. Superstar Feather, a legendary shoe reborn, only at Champ Sports, where sport lives. Got a good team, you just need a good coach. Hey, fellas, give me a top. Now on DVD from Comedy Central. You will respect my authority. The complete second season of South Park in a collector's edition three-disc box set. Okay. You'll get every heartwarming episode. You're my family, except for Cartman. Don't pick your nose, hon. I wasn't picking it. I had an itch for crying out loud. And that's how you tell a prostitute from a policeman. Many tasty special features, including Chef's touching music video, Chocolate Salty Balls, and the rarely seen documentary, Going Down to South Park. Well, technically, I'm supposed to be Stan and Matt's supposed to be Kyle. That's sort of where it all started. The further we go along, we realize we're really both more Cartman. Yeah. Free shipping and handling if you act now and buy the South Park DVD box set for only $39.99 at ComedyCentral.com or by calling 1-800-4-COMEDY. Hooray! You want to kill two Kennys with one stone and buy the Season 1 DVD box set at the same time. Totally, dude. Good point, man. The South Park Season 2 Collector's Edition DVD box set. Boys, are you paying attention? Buy it now and get the exclusive offer of free shipping and handling. What, what, what? Show some respect. <laughs> and buy it today. Maybe this will teach you to listen to authority. Oh, they... <laughs> Challenge three. Break a plank of wood with your bare hands. <laughs> Taekwondo is the national sport of Korea. They're fanatical about it. I went along to an academy for youngsters who were soon getting through more wood than Patsy Kenzie. It all looked far too athletic for a tubby smoker like me. But as I'd already failed two challenges and would face an even nastier forfeit if I cocked up any more, I was determined to do my best. I even shelled out for a proper costume. Not that they had one in my size. Too fat for the belt. Hey! You are young. 
but you will learn. I was soon impressing them with my awesome moves. But I didn't fancy doing that with my fingers. I've been told by my uh, trainer here that my whole body is an arsenal of weapons. My forehead, my fist, my fingers, my knee, my elbow, my foot. I'm armed and dangerous. We're going to start with a piece of wood. He's told me not to be afraid. There's much worse to come. Hey! Two, yeah. Bring it on. Bring it on, sunshine. Hey! 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 Anyway, I've graduated with the sort of karate chops through little bits of wood like this, and now I'm taking on the big fella for my challenge. That is an inch thick piece of timber. Hey! I may have broken my wrist, but I've certainly done the challenge. There is the wood in pieces. At last, a victory. To celebrate, we had a few beers and enjoyed the local nightlife. But all too soon, it was time for another bizarre face off with Korea. Challenge 4. Sing for your supper. If Taekwondo is the national sport, then karaoke is the national Hello. pastime of Korea. Sadly, I'm a worse singer than Posh Spice, so I went for a lesson from the country's top singing coach, Mr. Lee. Hello, ladies. <laughs> a couple of singing lessons. Maybe he'd help me become a successful oh, busker. Excellent. You're going to turn me into a fantastic singer. Two. One. To be beside the seaside. I do like to be beside the sea. <laughs> His techniques were unusual. But the class seemed to enjoy him. Oh, from the stomach. Oh, very big stomach. Does that help? Well, have her off. And there's lots of girls beside. I should like to be beside, beside the sea. His name's Mr. Lee. That's a toy I will from I became a bit worried about being the teacher's pet, as he was rather tactile. I thought this kind of thing only happened in prison. But just when I was beginning to feel a bit queasy, he brought out the buckets. Mr. Lee maintains that buckets help you hear your own voice. Unfortunately, I could hear my own all too clearly. So we moved on to a slightly more punk rock method of learning how to sing. My ears hurt. My ears hurt. I want to leave. He's frightening me now. I can't honestly say that I learnt much from Mr. Lee but I was still confident I'd raise enough cash to pay for my dinner, especially as I'd be singing in their language. Yeah, I wrote up. Fan of music, sir, I can see you are with that walking on. Just take it off for one minute. Here, a live act. Home taping, it's killing music. I need 3,000 wands. On Google goes in that more joy, yo. 2,300. She will have me. I've got 2,350 Korean won. I need 650 more. That'll buy me a bowl of noodles. Fan of music, sir? Fan of music? Music? For you, sir. 900. There it is, 3,000. Challenge, succeed. They say that success tastes sweet. 
I've got to say, the Mars success tastes rather salty. Introducing the first SUV with a power sliding rear roof. Whoa. The new GMC Envoy XUV. Professional grade engineering. It's not more than you need, just more than you're used to. Get ready to turn back time. You accidentally discovered time travel. Yes. Everybody take cover now! Kill them! Let's go! Somebody's trying to come back. So are you saying they could be stuck there forever? Timeline. Rated PG-13. Now playing in theaters everywhere. A clean park is a happy park. Make people sick. Just one of the fun things you can do with the Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 Combo Pack and the Time Twister Expansion Pack. Rated everyone. It's boxing's biggest night ever. They say it's a blockbuster. That New York is one of the hottest fighters. That Hopkins is nearly impossible to beat. That Rockman has dangerous one-punch power. It's five world title fights all in one night. Mayoga versus Spinks, Hopkins versus Joppy, Rockman versus Ruiz, plus Sam Judah and Alex Garcia. Saturday, December 13th, live on DirecTV Pay-Per-View. Don't miss this championship night, live on DirecTV Pay-Per-View, Channel 101. It's gonna be a monster. This is it. The battlefield of the future is here now. King of the Cage. Don't miss this special encore presentation on DirecTV Pay-Per-View. Thunderous kicks, dynamite punches, huge takedowns, and a two-ton steel cage. This is where the most extreme martial artists go head-to-head. -head. King of the Cage. Don't miss it. Order with your remote. How you feeling? The curtain is rising on a brand new season of Premium Blend. It's best they saw! Let's make some babies! That's awesome. Where 48 new comics step into the spotlight and deliver the next wave of stand-up comedy. I'm so gay, I can put a lisp in the word cracker. Starring D.L. Hughley. The gritty underbelly backstage, making it happen. Don't miss Premium Blend premieres Friday at 10, here on Comedy Central. Wednesday, Deputy Johnson's having a baby. Who do I think is the father of Clementine's baby? I was looking for the phone book. I was just gonna go. Ah! Reno 911, new episode, Wednesday at 10.30, only on Comedy Central. Challenge five, find the dirtiest toilet in Seoul. The Koreans are fascinated with turds. It's part of their national culture. They even got a turd museum. Oh, there's the bison pat. A gorilla's eggs. They say the Siberian tiger's in danger of extinction. But I've got to say... He's got a very healthy stool on him. A very good thickness, quite a good length, and very neatly snipped off. But a museum wasn't going to help me find a filthy toilet, so I met up with a man who's a self-proclaimed toilet specialist. His name? Mr Juju. Ah, oh, you think there'll be a toilet in there? Can we go in here? This is not a great toilet. Oh, gee, oh. Ah, oh, it's a squat toilet. Let's have a look in here. So, how, how low do I squat? Is that low enough? Yeah. But my piss is going to go... Yeah, let me, let me try, let me you, you, you demonstrate. Out of the water. Down like that. It's quite hard to read in that position. There's no paper. The flush doesn't work. Stinks! Oh, I have. We are uh, advertising. Is that a graffiti? Does that yeah. say, meet me at 9 o'clock, I suck dick? Yes. Do I have to? You have to keep the door in. Yeah, you have to hold it in, which is very hard in a squatting position
Well, Mr. Drewsbury, that was quite a disgusting toilet, but I can't believe there's nothing worse somewhere in Korea. I think Mr. Juju was being a bit patriotic. He didn't really show me the filthiest toilet in Korea. I've heard there's some big nasty ones on the underground. Korean tube trains are very modern and they have themed carriages, decorated in a rather surreal manner. Very odd. This one's spaghetti or rainfall. Very nice, but where was the cars in? This train's getting stranger and stranger. Oh my god, it's parsnip compartment. I think the designer of this train took some very bad acid. Ah, this is what Mr. Juju must have been talking about. It's an enormous train compartment uh, made out of toweling. Everything is in the shape of lavatory and bathroom fittings. Here's a lovely urinal right above this young woman's head. This really is the piece de resistance. It's an enormous lavatory, guarded, it seems, by a soldier with two unflushed turds in it. All very theatrical, but not actually very filthy. So my challenge continued. When we come to this area, which is full of tiny alleyways, all of them containing restaurants, brothels and billiard parlours. And I figure one of them has got to be really insanitary. My search began promisingly. <laughs> I am quite a short man and even I am struggling to have a piss here without being able to put it all over my shoes. Well, it's not the filthiest, but it's certainly the smallest. There's the roof level. The next one was small too. This is another in a series of dwarf toilets. Got your squat toilet, very, very damp surface. You're keen to see what's underneath this manhole here. That is the cesspool. It's a big bowl of shit, basically. It's not moving anyway, it's like a swamp. The spout is... Oh. There really wasn't a lot of hygiene going on round here. Oh, very bad. Next, I went to a smarter part of town to visit a bar dedicated to the Third Reich. Hello there. Can I check your toilet for my camera? It's decorated with SS badges and memorabilia. Look, there's Adolf, and they weren't very keen on us filming. I don't know why though. I've got to say, this is a fantastic Nazi toilet. When you piss, you're pissing on ice. It's like making a very expensive drink. Unfortunately, we got kicked out before I could enjoy the luxury. But it wasn't long until we really struck gold. I cannot tell you the odour in here. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Have a look at that. A picture is worth a thousand words. <laughs> This one has got to be the most disgusting toilet in Korea. I think I found it. I didn't exactly cover myself with glory, so I'm expecting a pretty horrible forfeit. As long as it isn't eating anything still alive, I don't care what it is. What is my forfeit? Welcome to Tough Crowds. Today we're going to Hollywood. The front page of Sunday's Post shows a list of New York celebrities that carry guns and a list of those that were denied permits. Now, celebrities need the guns because they attract psychos, but so do regular people, you know what I mean? Here were the people who were denied permits. Steven Seagal couldn't get one, which is a disgrace. Isn't the mafia after him? He should have a gun. I'm serious. <laughs> you know, they, well, the mafia went after him. They said they made him an offer he couldn't refuse because they looked at a list of all his movies. They said, apparently, there's no offer he will refuse. <laughs> but I mean, it's not as easy to kick a man when he's down. But uh, De Niro gets a gun, and so does Keitel. 
probably had to go with De Niro to get his. Which reminds me of a story. When I was on SNL, Sylvester Stallone was the guest. So I was one of the writers first, you know? Because I'll do anything. I'm humble, folks. I'll, I'll be in the business. <laughs> Stallone brings us to the set of Copland with Keitel, Leota, me and these other writers. He brings us in. Do you want to go and watch this movie? I'm like, oh, I don't know. Look at that. So we go in this big intense. <laughs> We go in this big intense scene, here's Kaitel looking, and it feels to me, I'm like, this guy's such a great actor, he's scaring me in this scene because it looks like he's looking right at my eyes with hate, you know? And then he goes, this was apparently not his line, would it depress you terribly to get this person out of my eye line? <laughs> he was talking to me. Then Ray Liotta starts belly aching at us too, you know, and Stallone's like, hey, you leave my friends alone, you're just getting mad. He's Stallone, you know, like, I don't need Rocky to fight my bottles, I'll take care of it myself. <laughs> what is the point? The point is, uh, you can have, when you have your own show, you can digress into nonsense like this and nobody says anything. <laughs>
two bombs. And instead of saying, well, you can't, obviously, he actually thinks he only was in two bombs. He started complimenting wait, wait, things. Wait, so wait, people wait. go, oh, yeah, five I'm bombs. Talking, but we're, we're, eight how, bombs. How we qualify? That's how brilliant <laughs> he is. Tell you something. How I was in Night at the Rock's How are we Paris, qualifying so bombs? Because to me, <laughs> we're talking about big budget, whoa, whoa, whoa. high profile, right? What? No, what we're saying is, Patrice. what do you think happens to these big budget movies that make some of these bombs? Not you, I'm mean, saying, what do you think? Because you've been on the scene where you see read a great care. script. Who cares? Is this a philosophical? Everybody cares because it's a movies piece of shit. Shit that came out last week and it'll be gone next week. No, Who it's cares? not about Geely. It's about the whole business. Every movie stinks. I still don't I'll care. Why? But we, I care. Wait, why oh. do you care? Because I go to the movies. I sit in there watching a movie all excited. The next thing is awful and I leave well, miserable. Go see my movie, Secret Lives of Dentists. That's a good movie. It's out right now. Is go it good? See, yeah, it is good. good. Okay. I'll tell you what else. You know what else is good? Yes, Rocky uh, One. Yeah. Rocky One's a great movie. I'm okay. talking about right now. Oh, okay, okay. Seabiscuit. <laughs> Seabiscuit. They really won't give it up. The Italian Seabiscuit is a good movie. <laughs> oh, they live Stallone's for that movie. a genius. Finding, Stallone is great. Finding Help me Nemo out. is a great movie. Leona right and Kaitel have a problem. The agents of the problems, Con. Every time two celebrities get together and like P. Diddy's hot tub, there's a couple of William Morris agents with telescopes on the roof going, oh, we got to do something with those two. Well, that is part of it. But don't you think it's also just the scripts? Let me ask you this. I can't believe you say, who cares? I don't We're care. in the middle of a set. I, but I, I wish I would have known that before the show. Then I would have said, well, Dennis, you don't care about this, but what do you think? Or what does your buddy think? You said it so. What's I'm your sorry, problem? Did you guys argue like this on the set of Who's the Man? <laughs> Another good movie. There he goes again. I like that movie. <laughs> that was good. I like Who's the Man. But I think we all know what Patrice point, is saying. My point. There's my more point than two. Is, mm-hmm. Now listen. <laughs> My point at this particular moment is I actually care more about the Red Sox and uh, the Yankees and about uh, what the weather's going to be tomorrow and what I'm going to eat for dinner than I care about damn Jennifer Lopez yeah, and Ben Affleck. Listen, yeah. nobody wants your zen and the art of being a Boston Irish guy attitude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, show some respect. Don't leave me alone with these people. We'll be right back. <laughs> We were over our heads in credit card debt and looking for a way out. A number of companies said they would help us, but they were only interested in charging huge upfront fees and putting us further into debt. Credit Guard of America was different. Credit Guard of America won't put you further into debt. As a nonprofit service, we've helped thousands of people for over 11 years. We work with you and your creditors to reduce your monthly payments so you can get on with life. Credit Guard of America cut my monthly payments in half. They cut my interest rate from an average of 23% to 8%. Some even went to zero. I'll be out of debt in four years instead of 20. Credit Guard of America saved me over $13,000 in interest fees alone. Call now to reduce your monthly payments. Cut the interest rates on your credit cards by up to half and get your unsecured debt paid off years earlier. Don't you owe it to yourself to work with a real nonprofit service? Call now to find out how to receive a free credit report. Certified counselors are standing by. Call 800-801-9573. He looks very familiar. You've seen him somewhere. He looks like that comedian. You know, what's his name? Ah! I don't mean to insult you, but you look like Bobcat Goldthwait. New CD in stores now and at ComedyCentral.com. Coldplay, the Grammy Award-winning band, now available live on a DVD and CD two-disc set. Coldplay Live 2003, the sold-out tour, now on DVD. All the hits, all live, in 5.1 surround sound, including the new single, Moses. Special features include an exclusive behind-the-scenes documentary, two previously unreleased tracks, and the Coldplay Live 2003 bonus CD, featuring all live recordings from the world tour. Coldplay Live 2003, a two-disc DVD-CD collection. To order Coldplay Live 2003, call the number on your screen or send $24.98 plus $4.95 shipping and handling to the address below. Order now. How you feeling? The curtain is rising on a brand new season of Premium Blend. Best they saw. Let's make some babies. That's awesome. Where 48 new comics step into the spotlight and deliver the next wave of stand-up comedy. I'm so gay, I can put a lisp in the word cracker. Starring D.L. Hughley. The gritty underbelly. Backstage, making it happen. Don't miss Premium Blend premieres Friday at 10, here on Comedy Central. I don't know. They put me here. Uh, Chicago Dennis goes, why are you over there? 
<laughs> what do you think? Someone's sneaking up behind you? I don't know what the hell's going on. I don't know. They put me you're up talking about guns shot. and everything else, and all of a sudden you're standing <laughs> over there. What the hell's going on? You just told your friend Leota and Hakaitel. Yeah. The, the, yeah. Judgment Day is coming. Yeah, sure. Chicago Cubs manager Dusty Baker caught some flack for his comment. Blacks and Hispanics withstand the hot weather better than most whites. Jimmy the Greek lost his job for making similar comments. The Dusty Baker story went away fast, as it should have. But if he'd been white, you know he'd be making a tearful apology and stepping down right now. I apologize if I offended my black and Latino constituents. I apologize to whites. I apologize to the meteorologists who have to deal with the reality of heat and cold and its effect on the different races. I apologize to the American people. All climates are good in their own way. I do not believe in climate control, except in the case of inclement weather. So the point is, isn't there a double standard when it comes to crying racism, Patrice? Yes and white people created it. First of all, uh, <laughs> first of all, uh, you know, uh, white people talking about black issues is like, uh, what black issue? Uh, well, white people talking about anything black, it's like women talking about, uh, or men talking about uh, abortion. You know, women, no matter if the dude is right or not, women just don't want to hear it, you know, because we don't have anything to do with it. So when white people talk about you know, oh, we were bred for slavery. I don't want to hear. I don't want nobody. I don't want to hear about white you don't black hear, you don't historians. Wanna, I, I don't want to hear about it. I don't, don't want to hear, hear the truth. truth. Look, man, Jimmy the Greek. I I agree with everything he said because it's the truth. Leave that out of it. it, it, it it's, it's the truth. I agree now. with him, man. But he just can't say it. He's not allowed to say it. But black people are not the real the ones that got him out. It's just white people did that. White, yeah, people, people, that, white liberals part. go, oh Lord, are we not supposed? Right. They get slavery. Who we ain't supposed to? And then, they, because they're scared of you, guys, you can't say anything. Guess what? I think that we can say whatever. How we want. I think What's Dusty that? Baker was absolutely right in what he said. He is right. Absolutely That's right. Not the and point. I think he's a great manager. I like the way uh, he handles his teams. And you know what? what? Jimmy the Greek, I don't even remember what he said. What did he say? He said, he said they were bred for this. That they were bred. You know, basically slaves said the same thing. Slaves are better athletes. The big women, stronger, big, men, big, big, big children, men, big women, big slaves. Look, he's a perfect proof of it. Look there at the size go. of this son of a bitch. <laughs> So Jimmy the Greek said that, that Patrice, Patrice O'Neill would have made a hell of a linebacker. Yes. Okay, now I remember. The theory from the guy in Hawaii at the college that did a study on this said it has to what do with... guy? The guy, a the guy in Hawaii! Yeah. Did a theory... The, the, did a the study on this. They gave us the read uh, before the show, the black you guy talks over the white guy, you <laughs> jerk. Anyways. Go ahead. Go ahead. It says, because it has to do with a surface area of the skin. Black people have longer limbs than us, so the heat dissipates. This isn't my theory, so don't so laugh at me. So he's just repeating it. Go ahead, stupid. What are you waiting for, a liver snap? <laughs> <laughs> to do with surface area. They have longer limbs, they have more surface area. And if this theory is true, if this theory is true, you could stand I'm on the I'm listening. You could stand longer on the, limbs finish. You could stand on the sun for a week and not break a sweat, you fat bastard. Well, I'm sure. Ridiculous conversation. No, it's not thank a ridiculous. You, you, it is ridiculous. The black guy laying on a rug. It's not about Dusty Baker anymore. Once he brought up the fact that White people should not bring up certain subjects. That's when it became a good conversation. If you guys can't handle the, uh, you know, the level of it, but hey, well, listen. What are you saying? We we weren't up to par with Jesus you two? Christ. No, I'm saying that this son of a bitch called it ridiculous, but I'm it saying it wasn't ridiculous. We covered the topic. We should move on now. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying. It's like your, your, it's like your Kytel story. four guests. This Kytel story. <laughs> this whole thing about how evil Harvey Kytel. Harvey Kytel is from doing a goddamn scene in the movie and some Irish guy standing there staring at him going, hey, that's Harvey Kytel. <laughs> <laughs> that's the <laughs> story. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. When I was doing Roxbury, and it was a scene where I had to present. I was out there. That's, that's the in, in term for the Night at the Roxbury, the big epic movie he did. I had a couple of big scenes with Catan where I was trying to get serious. And if somebody came by yeah. and they said, hey, aren't you idiots from SNL? I used it in my scene. That's what Kytel should do. Maybe, maybe they wouldn't have booted him off Apocalypse Now. You know what's scary? That headshot of the Jimmy the Greek is going to look like me in about five years. That's what I'm going to do. All right, look. <laughs> you want to move along? We'll move along. Let's to, we're moving along. Like to do. Let's go. Come on. We I don't like this. his indignance without Dre Greg Geraldo on the show. He's getting a little bit, uh, you know what I mean? You're right. Greg here to yeah. Leave us alone. Go bully Greg. He's not here today. <laughs> Leave us alone. <laughs> Just because Greg's not here, he's going to yell at us. That's right. It's supposed to be a half hour show. People? We've been here for an hour and a half already. Come Why on. can't you be? <laughs> I got other stuff to do. Come on. Oh, so do I. We got to go do a tough crowd spa comedy special. He's got another bomb to premiere. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, the road. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
right, I'm getting ready for the road. Is this over? Our national economy depends on you knowing which products to buy. See, it's over. Happy? Go fulfill your civic duty. We'll be right back. I had one lady left me. She had a dog, and when she left, the dog came up and talked to me. Uh, hey, Rich, uh, I'm fixing to split. I know it's been a pleasure, don't get me wrong, you know what I mean, but you're a little tardy with the food, <laughs> and she feed the mother three times a day, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna check you out, you take care. I'm gonna leave a little piss over here for you to remember me by. The star-studded salute to the funniest ever to set the mic on fire. Richard Pryor, I Ain't Dead Yet, Sunday at 10 on Comedy Central. Oh, Father, your arm is shaking. You hit me in my chest. Ah, my son, God moves in mysterious <laughs> ways. Your arrows move in mysterious ways too, Father. Have a Red Bull. Kill a bull? Are you mad? Red Bull! Liquid stimulation for your body. You mean it will st st steady my hand? And your mind. So what you're saying is the arrow isn't flying to the apple. Don't shoot the apple when it's on your head. Shoot the apple and then put it on your head. Brilliant! Red Bull gives you wings. Whoa. Are there any chicks you didn't have that you wish you had? You are like the worst best man ever. If the last thing you want to do oh. is get married. Welcome to the family. You can call me pussy now. Pussy? You know, like a cat. Then take your girlfriend to see Just Married. I'm on my honeymoon. Ew. She'll never bug you again. <laughs> Just Married. Honey, don't force it. <laughs> January 10th, only in theaters. Let's go, Buy it, it on DVD. Cradle to the Grave. Buy it this Tuesday on DVD and video. The game is so sharp. Scary sharp. I mean, it's like you're there. It's perfection. And, and it's wide. I mean, it's... I mean, no, it's... Uh, <laughs> Wide, and you can see the entire field. Let the sound, the sound is like whoa. I mean, it's all around me. I never heard nothing like it in my life. Now that's what I'm talking about. It's high definition, man. Comcast Sportsnet HD TV, Sixers, Flyers, Phillies, over 100 games. Try that on a dish. Imagine if we Caribbeans took life as seriously as the rest of the world. You're 43 seconds late. According to my watch, I am not late. You're late. And I am late because you are late. Now you're a whole minute late. Not that I watch. Hurry up, my fish is sick. I'm running late for my meeting. You give me road rage. If we took life as seriously as this, then we'd never have invented Malibu. Made with pure Bajan rum. It's seriously easy going. Oh man, it's total gridlock. Miss last night's Conan. Oh, I really care. I wonder where the hell are. Then catch it tonight. <laughs> and every weeknight at 7. Here on Comedy Central. Folks, Dennis Leary is going to be the guest of honor at this Sunday's Comedy Central roast. Boy, you should run some promotions for it or something. I haven't seen anything. <laughs> Doing a show every day. It's the one roast. Uh, 50, it doesn't matter. But look, I think we both know it's all about the dais. Let's preview Sunday's uh, dais. Start with uh, your, your, your MC, Jeff Garland. Yes. Jeff, to me, and you know, I know Jeff a long time. I love Jeff. Yeah. Jeff stunk as the MC. <laughs> I disagree. He was awful. I totally disagree. Why? His job was to be a famous face, affable. Why did you ask me to do it? Because I wanted you to d on me. But don't you, you think Jeff is more famous than me? Is I knew Jeff saying? was not going to sit down and write, you know, he's got a hit series he's doing as opposed to, you know, this show. Um, <laughs> That has to be improvised in the middle of it. It's like shooting three movies when they shoot that show. Oh, please. Okay? It's three, I'm four sure it's months of improvising work. every day. You know, it's a tough gig, right? Ah. So, but I wanted a famous guy to come in and go be an affable host. So. Well, I'll tell you the truth. I'm not even going to humiliate you by getting the crowd to say how many people know that unfamous face over mine. Let's move on. How about this fellow, Mario Cantone? Mario? Yep. Mario went to college with Mario. Did you? Yep. And was he on the show because, you know? Because we needed a gay guy. Okay. <laughs> Well, now I'm going to cut to a, a little footage I'd like to show you. Yes. This is from The Daily Show the other day. Can we please see this footage for a second? I just want you well, who's going to get roasted next year? Do you know? Uh, uh, I don't know yet. I, I would suspect Colin Quinn because yes. he was very funny in putting me down. What about roasting you? No, no, no. That Come can't. on. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Did you just, first of all, the presumption to say Colin Quinn, like, I'm going to come begging. You didn't ask me before you spoke. <laughs> but then, that was bad enough. But part two, did you just give away 
my job, <laughs> not only on TV, but you kind of basically let the nation know backwards things, which is like, John, we're not gonna kid ourselves, John has a lot more status than I do in the business right yeah. now. Do you have to point that out on national TV in front of the whole country? <laughs> I don't think it has to be pointed out if people know it. <laughs> All right, did you have to re-emphasize it? I just, yeah, I like, I like to re-emphasize You offered my job that you didn't even ask me if I wanted. You said he's taking it. Well, if Quinn's he wins, taking it. And then you offered it to this bastard. Look, look. I didn't turn it down. He would never do the roast, I don't think. He's afraid. That's really not the point at all. The I point actually, is, I, what? The point is this. Am I, the do point I have is, the job the or are you going to go I, ask 100 I, other people? Are you going to go and let him the job? Craig Kilborn? Do you want the job? Regis and Kathy Lee? Look, look, <laughs> look, let's be honest. Kelly, sorry. Okay, let's be honest, okay? All right. All right, as a producer, if I can get the biggest name I can get to be roasted, that's the guy I'm going to want to have roasted. Right. That means the ratings go up. But do you have to, so, sh I'm, two I'm, seconds? Do you want to be roasted next year? Um, I feel like I'm falling into a trap. Yes. Okay, now. Wait, wait. Wait. But, He's being honest. I'm being honest. But meanwhile, if, if Ray Liotta calls me up and says he wants to be roasted, you're off the f***ing thing. <laughs> that really hurts. You had to bring up Ray Liotta, too. That's the way it works. My bet noir. Yeah. You had to bring up Ray Liotta, didn't you? What does that mean? You know, my number one, like, uh, enemy. Why is he your number one enemy? Because he looked at us and booted us out of Stallone's thing. <laughs> God, I, I hate to tell you this, but if we go back to just through the last ten years of comedy, there are so many more bigger enemies that you have besides Ray Liotta. <laughs> okay? He's right. People in my own family included. Oh. <laughs> well, it's always good to see you, Dennis. Sunday That's night? It? That's it? Well, I don't know. What, what do you want to end? We end on the big segment of the thing. All right. What, do you want to end on some big laugh? Yeah. All right. Show business. <laughs> and I thought it was. Laugh. Oh, geez. Now you're going to be Mr. Like, uh, official show business? What are you? Oh, always leave them wanting more. Well, that's what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday night, watch the Dennis Leary Rose here on Comedy Central. And I'll be next year unless we're the only call. Sunday on The Man Show. Shop till you drop with Adam. This will hold about 450 pounds. Oh, good. Jimmy can use one. The Man Show. Sunday at 10. Only on Comedy Central. Be a man. Watch The Man Show. Introducing the Saturn Ion Quad Coupe, specifically designed and engineered for whatever's next. Tender sliced, all white chicken breast. That Freda sauce made from rich cream, garlic, and Parmesan. I'd like to introduce my newest pizza, Papa John's Grilled Chicken Alfredo. You expect the best, we deliver. Try our new Grilled Chicken Alfredo. Just $10.99. Call us now. We'll be right there. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. Speed dates. Meet your match before the buzzer. So what do you do? Lawyer. And you? Flex on sales rep. Excuse me? I sell these frames. They're flexible, see? Careful. That's okay. They spring back. <gasps> I'm a teacher and you? Flex on sales rep. Huh? Flex on frames. They don't get bent out of shape. Oh. I'm in public relations. Flex on sales rep. What? Flex on frames. Wow. Be the most interesting. Wear the most interesting eyewear. Flex on by Marshawn. Blue Man Group, performing nightly at Luxor, Las Vegas. You're on the edge of your seat. Incredible emotional experience. Saturday, May 17th, live on In Demand. It's not the size of the man in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the man. Get ready for the Norman Knockdown. Four-time world champion Mauricio Pastrana battles former champion Mike Knight Train Trado for the IBA Bantamweight Championship. Plus, Robert Daniels and Alex Gonzalez class for the IBA Super Cruiserweight title. The Norman Knockdown, Saturday, May 17th at 11 p.m. Eastern, live on In Demand Pay-Per-View.
game is so sharp. Scary sharp. I mean, it's like you're there. It's perfection. And, and it's wide. I mean, it's, I mean, no, it's uh, wide. And you can see the entire field. Look at the sound. The sound is like, whoa. I mean, it's all around me. I never heard nothing like it in my life. Now that's what I'm talking about. It's high definition, man. Comcast Sportsnet HD TV. Sixers, Flyers, Phillies, over 100 games. Try that on a dish. Folks, as we mentioned earlier, many sports figures have said things they wish they could take back. Uh, Dusty Baker, Jimmy the Greek, for example. Uh, tell us something that you guys, immediately after the words left your mouth, you wish you could have took back. Dennis? Hmm, a movie with a giant f***ing elephant and Ray Liotta? How much money is it? <laughs> All right. Adam. Adam Ferrara. I was late for a show, and I ran on stage, and what I didn't know is the first half of the audience were people in wheelchairs. And without thinking, I said, look, I parked in your spot once. I didn't know you were going to send everybody. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Patrice O'Neill. <clears throat> Thank you. In the seventh grade, uh, I was sitting with all my friends at the lunchroom, and the baddest dude in the school came, sat next to us at the table, and uh, he wasn't no big bully type of dude that you stand up to. He beat people up for real. And uh, me and my friends were gigglers, you know, like, hey. he wasn't. <laughs> And so, for, for some reason, our silliness got him to start laughing, and I wanted to keep it going, so that's when I said, oh, look at that ugly bitch over there. And uh, my regret came right after I heard, that's his girlfriend, dog. And uh, <laughs> then a quick bright light in my left eye. All right. Uh, let me ask you one thing before we go to Nick. Why do you have to say he wasn't the typical bully, like somehow your bully? Let me finish. Let me finish, stupid. Then let me respond, though. I'll let you respond right afterwards. All right. I noticed you have to say, he was a bully, or else he might not have knocked you out. Take your lumps like you did, stupid. I'm oh, my God, it was just as bad a bully as everybody else. He wasn't the baddest ass in the world. Is he the same guy you had to carry guns for, the whole community? Shut up. <laughs> I'm saying. I'm saying. Ew. Why did you just do that? Are message board people? I'm saying to you. Oh, why? Because they laughed at a brilliant callback? No, because. You, yeah, they must be message boards because they laughed a, at a brilliant callback by me. Son of a bitch. He wasn't. <laughs> I'm waiting He dumb, wasn't dumb. a bully because he could. He wasn't those dudes that. Uh, he's bullying people that's weaker than him. He beat everybody's ass. I understand that, but I'm saying everybody went to school with some badass people, and how somehow you had to make your guy be on like this mythical toughness so that <laughs> you would justify him punching you and laying your lights out, and I'm telling you, he was just a normal school bully. Nick DiPaolo. Well, <laughs> what was the question again? The question, Nick, was, what would you take back if you could say, to regret anything? And you've said a lot of things that I'd like to take back, <laughs> but go ahead. <laughs> back when I was single, I got this girl back to my apartment, and, you know, one thing led to another. <laughs> Anyways, when she took her bra off, one of her nipples was off center by, like, two inches. That's right, she had a lazy nipple, and, uh... <laughs> Of course I couldn't just keep my mouth shut and pretend I didn't notice. I had to say something wise. So I said, where'd you get your titties, Marshalls? <laughs> and she, she was like, F you, and put on her shirt and ran out. And I spent the rest of the night the way a good comic should, watching porn in the dark by myself. You know? Wow. Now, I think we've all learned something tonight. Nick used the word F you. <laughs> that was worth it for me. <laughs> that big Italian going, F you. <laughs> But maybe it wasn't <laughs> worth it for anybody else. Um, well, good night, ladies and gentlemen. See you later. Since the beginning of...
time, mankind has been forced to compete for survival. This spirit of competition has reached a pinnacle in the relationship of two best friends who battle against each other. Why? Glory for the winner. Humiliation for the loser. This is Kenny versus Spenny. The competition this week is who is a better wrestler. We're talking about professional wrestling. That's Hulk Hogan, uh, you know, Andre the Giant, Sweet Daddy Siki. Spenny is a huge wrestling fan. I like wrestling, I prefer Mexican wrestling. I like the entertainment aspect of it. This is not what you think. Kenny and I are not gonna wrestle each other. We're each gonna wrestle a professional wrestler. Because Kenny and I, if we wrestled each other, it wouldn't work. We don't know the moves, so we're gonna work with someone who knows the moves. Can't wait to try the moves that I've imagined myself doing, creating the character. His wrestling move's called <laughs> the Stink Finger Gargler. You make your little slanders and lies. I, right now, am thinking about how to be the best wrestler that you've ever seen. The funny thing is that my favorite wrestling match that I ever saw live didn't even have any wrestling. Didn't even have, have any wrestling? Basically, it was Uncle Elmer against the great, legendary. He just gave me an idea. Jesse the Body Ventura. The wrestlers get in the ring and Uncle Elmer took his cowbell and hit Jesse over the head, ping! And then Jesse did one of these. these and then he fell down and he laid there until they had the stretcher come in. My point is here, guys, that this was one of the most entertaining matches I ever saw. I had the incredible ability to go to matches in Toronto, Maple Leaf Gardens, and also Buffalo. It was wonderful. Do you think anyone really cares? Just do the competition. Well, I'm going Why to. Why are you training? Just get out of my room. No. I've just picked my persona. It's called the agitator. I'm the agitator, and I'm going to agitate Spenny until he gets knocked out. That's a great, that's a great wrestling persona. You should go with that in the really? competition, yeah. Come on, let's follow around Spenny. The follower follows everybody everywhere they go. I have a lot of passion for wrestling. Um, I really do. I wanted to share the passion before we start to actually wrestle. I thought it would be good to just let people know how much it means to me. Uh, this is something that, oh, God damn it, leave me alone! No, Spencer, regale me with your stories of wrestling. Why, so you can interrupt me? No, I won't. I'll be totally quiet. Okay. And why would I believe you? Why would you believe me? Because you're the believer. Oh, you're so annoying. The believer believes everything he hears. So we're each gonna have a professional wrestler and we're gonna each do... Uh, you gotta work out your match. We work out a match and then we perform our matches for the judge. That's right. When you see wrestlers live, they've worked out their match. All right, we're here at the Squared Circle, the training gym. Uh, we've each paired off with our professional wrestlers. Uh, this is Tyson. This is Celine Gion, the entertainment king. World's greatest sports entertainer. What I really want is you to, is to, is you to teach me the fundamentals of wrestling to pull this off. First thing we're gonna learn is how to fall properly, to protect yourself. I know. A somersault, man. Wow. Wow. wow, hey, I did that in kindergarten. So trip. Oh. Now, I hate to do this to you, you gotta get hit. From this point on, try to stay in character, Spenny. Spenny's uncle used to do that to him when he was in high school. I can't even want you to leave, but I'm actually trying to fucking train, please. It's very hard. Okay, you know what? We'll see you. We'll, we'll see go. you later. See you tomorrow, Spenny. Get out of here! You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna entertain. I'm not gonna go into the ring. I'm not gonna practice. I'm not gonna get the shit kicked out of me by trying to learn the moves. Oh, God, that hurt. And if I do win, it's going to crush Spenny's boyhood dreams of being a professional wrestler. Honestly, it hurts my hands a lot. Does it hurt you when you slap me? No, no. Well, it hurts me when you slap me, it hurts me when I slap you. So it hurts me, period. I better pick a character. I need a wrestling persona. I gotta go into that ring as 
something so entertaining that the judge will just have to fucking pick me the second he sees me. Hey, how's this? Zyklon K. Hey, friend. It's the trippy hippie. Get ready for a kaleidoscope of pain. Here you go. Ba boom mm. Rope burn! That's the worst thing I've ever Definitely seen. Definitely not. Next. One more shot. It's called a form. Stay loose, stay loose, stay loose. Oh, jeez! Oh, fuck! No, oh, I'm ready! Now, wrestlers don't usually whine, Spenny, so stay in character. I won't, I won't, I won't. Can't break character. All right. God, you can't fight with that thing on your head. Okay, first thing you're gonna do is pull up the shoulders and bring them oh. over oh my oh. knees like this. <laughs> what we're gonna do is bring these knuckles across your jaw like that. Oh, oh. stop it, stop it, ow. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I can't do that. You're but gonna have to fake it. You're gonna have to fake it. I am faking it. Uh, no, I know, but fake it, more fake it. Mm. 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 Was the bell good? The bell's the only good part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really, the bell. Ah. You didn't, did you double side it? No. No! Ah! <laughs> this is so oh, cool. man. Oh. He's getting <laughs> <him. laughs> Surprisingly, he's taken a really good beating so far. The only thing I'm worried about, though, is uh, will he stay in character or not? Because like I can hit him, boom, and then but then he'll float off and he'll be like, oh my back, oh. My back. Okay, please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Oh, good. Oh, my God. I just did a suplex. I am Illuminatus. I come from the planet Aluminium. You cannot boil me. You cannot boil me. You cannot boil me. Is it good? A bit of a baked potato. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, I can't fucking think of anything. I'm gonna take a bath and relax. Ugh, maybe something will come to me. You're gonna block my attack, and you're gonna hit my head off the turnbuckle. Oh, God damn it. What the fuck am I going to do? Spenny's working his ass off in the ring. I'm sitting here and I got nothing. And then into our sunset flip. So those two real difficult moves right in a row. I can't even find a character to do. God, I got to relax. I haven't mentioned this yet. Something I've been thinking long and hard about. Okay. I want juice. I want juice. Real juice. It's insane. Yeah, I mean, all of my wow. favorite wrestlers from back in the day, they all bled. But what it is is a small little razor blade inside a piece of tape, and a guy will take it out of his mouth or his wrist tape or his elbow pad, and he'll cut you in the hairline, and he'll press down until it touches the bone, and then pull across, because this skin is really thin. Will I need stitches? No. It'll just bleed all over the place? You're gonna bleed like a stuffed pig. <sighs> what am I gonna do? Hey, Ken! Wanna play some hoops? Dude, I'm taking a bath, man. Maybe later. <sighs> you know what? I'm fucking starving. Yeah. 
Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Three, rated M for mature. It's here. This facility is a school. Own the must-see DVD. Sure it is. Of the year. Next time you feel like showing off, don't. X2 on DVD and video. Hang on. Available at Target. Before Mr. Taylor taught the world to play, before fiberglass, before parquet, before the word doctor was spelled with a J, and ballrooms were ball courts where the Renaissance played, before the hype and before the dunk, after the rhythm, but before the funk, before the money and before the fame, before a new and old school, before school had a name, it was only the ball and the soul of the game. The first school, Converse, only at Champ Sports. Available on DVD December 16th. The complete third season of South Park in a collector's edition three disc box set. Bad monkey. Including the Emmy nominated episode Chin Pokemon. Kite, kite, kite. <laughs> this DVD rocks. Just listen to the critics. <laughs> Special features include many commentaries from the creators on all 17 legendary episodes. Buy it December 16th. Let's go. Let's go. In the yard. Stay back, Mac. Don't clarp. Stay back. Don't clarp. Don't clarp. Time to feed the yard. Don't clarp. Do not understand the powers of the yard. Yeah. Are we hungry this morning? Got me. Good boy. That is the lamest wrestling character I've ever seen in my life. Ever. I mean, there's a history of, you know, Mad Men, you know, Pampero Furpo, Abdullah the Butcher, uh, George the Animal Steel. But there was a semblance of, of, of something that, that's completely lacking with this. Uh, I don't even know what it is. You have to be able to understand what it is. Right now, I'm going to take an Epsom salts bath and I'm going to bed. I don't have time for fucking yarp. Shh. Oh, quit the app. The app is sleeping. Jamie, shut up. Clean up the lamp. I was at the gym all day. I didn't see him once. Where's the wrestling? Where are the moves? But what's missing is the wrestling. So I don't know what he's thinking. Can he actually be that naive and think that the entertainment aspect of wrestling is all you need to win this competition? Because I got my own entertainment. I've got my own character. I am the nice guy. So, what do you think? You know what, Spenny? It's not bad. I like the sweater. I think it's pretty cool. Your boots are awesome. You like that, the you, I know you've been working really hard and I know it's really, really tough. But I, I got you a little present. I got you a little surprise. All right? Oh my God. Sheik! Yes, sir. Uh, World champion, Iron Sheik! Nice to see you guys. The Iron Sheik! I am the real all Olympic shooter gold medal. I was the all AAU, WWF, WWE, NWA, and Canadian champion. I want to say hello all my wrestling fans. What is your name? What do you want to call you? Spenny. It's Spenny? Yes, sir. Like Penny. Not Penny. Like Penny, yeah. All right, all right. if you don't want to have to, to call you Penny, it's okay? Yeah. Yeah, Penny. Who is your oh, favorite? My favorite, my favorite of all time was Bobo Brazil. Remember Bobo? No, I'm talking about new generation like Hogan, Ultimate Warrior. I liked Hulk a bit. He was pretty cool. Hulk Hogan, fight it! But I sold out. Silver Dome, Pontiac, Michigan, 93,000 people. So no, Penny, baby, 
Don't get a smart with me. Mr. Even Hogan is a faggot. But I sold out. Madison Square Garden in New York, you not ready to you sold out. Madison Square Garden in New York, I want to let you know, Penny. You not fucking Hulk Hogan. You not fucking that cocksucker all tomorrow boy. You are still Penny. Have a good day. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Bob. Yes. Yo, what's up? That's right. He back. Yo, yo. yo. Mr. Jennings. One paycheck. The rich beyond your wildest dreams. One problem. Oh, it's for your memory wipe. This is a matter of national security. Uh, Tell us everything that you did. You wipe my memory. Take over. Ben Affleck, Aaron Eckhart, uh, Uma Thurman. Don't you believe in second chances? What? In a new film by John Woo. Paycheck, rated PG-13. Starts Thursday, December 25th. The Panasonic Pro Curve Pivot Action Shaper. The world's sharpest shaver blades, and a head that pivots to fit your face. Panasonic ideas for life. South Park. South Park. Sweet. 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 And your kids are so yummy. Sweet. Wednesday at 10 on Comedy Central. You know that feeling when you take a huge jump? Awesome. They turn the battle of the sexes. Women cops, get rid of them. Into an all-out brawl. With that flat asses and that bad hairdo. <laughs> Let them go to the WNBA where that kind is accepted. <laughs> Tough crowd with Colin Quinn. There wouldn't be any wars if women were in charge. Somebody tells you you got a fat ass, you're ready to cut each other's throats. <laughs> what did your shirt say? It says, I know you're staring at my chest, jackass. <laughs> Comedians with issues. New episodes every weeknight at 11.30 on Comedy Central. Wrestling fans, we're back with some live wrestling action. And we have two competitors here today. One who I'm not really sure of. Doctor. And the other one is Celine Shion. Celine Shion, Doctor. please tell us about what's going on right now. Doctor. Well, I'm completely befuddled by what's standing in front of me right now. Yarp Yarp, you better watch yourself because Celine Gion's not backing down and you're going down like the Titanic. Now, now I see that Yarp Yarp here is, is controlled He's by a scientist. Scientist, how, how, quickly, quickly, Yarp Yarp's food. How do you control him? How do you control him? Oh, Elsie, the only thing that calms a Yarp Yarp is a used tampon. Yarp Yarp, Yarp Yarp, Yarp Yarp, Yarp Yarp, there you go, feast. Oh my goodness. In all my years, I have never seen a specimen like Yarp Yarp. And tonight, we will have the famous match between Celine Gion and Yarp Yarp in the ring. Let's check out the ringside action. Ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring from Windsor, Ontario, weighing in at 220 pounds, he is textbook Tyson Dukes. And now, about to enter the ring, accompanied by his mother Gladys and the gentleman, weighing in at 163 pounds, from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, here he is, the nice guy! I'm the Canadian hardcore icon, Bloody Bill Scullion, and I've been asked to be here as a judge. We're here to referee the match between Textbook and the Nice Guy. We're looking for a clean match, no bullshit. Here we go. All right. Beauty wrestling fans, Paige Megan ringside here for the Battle of the Titans. These two men have had a grudge for years. As they size each other up, we have the Nice Guy offering a handshake, but Tyson wants nothing to do with it. He's all business in the ring, and the Nice Guy's just trying to be nice. They lock up, and here we have it. Nice Guy's got him in a headlock. He's got a real tight, oh, the hair, he's grabbing by the hair, and he's throwing him to the rope, and we got a crisscross, folks. We've got a crisscross, nice guy jumps over him, picks him up. We've got an airplane 
insane spin and devastating move in pro wrestling. Nice guy's losing his composure. He doesn't know where he is. He's looking around the room. Got in the corner. The Dukes is sizing him up for a vicious chop. It's a vicious chop. Now he's busting him up. Devastating blows. And what's that? I see something here. Something fishy's going on here. here. Tyson maybe having a foreign object in his hand. Oh, he's busted open! Stiff headlock as he takes him to the turnbuckle! Nice guy rejects it! Once to the head! Oh no! Twice! Three times reversing the move! The nice guy's trying to come back! He's been great momentum into high risk move on the second rope! What's that? It's a sunset flip! He brings him down and quick pin one! Two! He breaks out of it! He broke out of it by a half of a hair! And the textbook's taking a time out! The textbook doesn't want anything to do with this right now as the nice guys regain momentum in this match. The nice guy looks like he's offering a nice gesture and offering his services to put him up. Oh, and it bites him in the ass! What a mistake by the nice guy! Tyson has just taken over the match. It's a full Nelson, one of the deadliest moves in wrestling. But what's that? Is that Celine Gion? And Yarp Yarp! They're supposed to be wrestling each other tonight! Are they on the same team? I don't understand it! He's still in the full thousand bloody hair! And Celine Gion's in his face with a bag of powder! He's blinded him! He's blinded him! Yarp Yarp, Celine, and Tyson! They're three on one! There is complete pandemonium in the ring! It's a cross! No, 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 it's a double cross! Wait a minute, it's a triple cross! Old Navy Holiday Hotline. Looking for a hot hoodie? Here's the 411. Whether we down the slopes or on the streets, we got every color fleece, man. We so unique. When it's cold outside, you know it's still all good. Little Kim will keep it hot in the Old Navy hood. Old Navy hood. All the hotties want hoodies, just 1950. You in the hood now, baby. New from Ricola, nature's protection with extra vitamin C. What do you think to help strengthen your immune system. Naturally. Ricola! From the director of the Lethal Weapon films, a remarkable discovery. Your father is in the 14th century. A dangerous rescue. We need you to help us get him back. What about weapons? Nothing modern goes back. Everybody take cover now! Use your head. We got 650 years of knowledge on these guys. We should get out of here in 20 minutes. Or lose it. From the author of Jurassic Park, Timeline. So are you saying they could be stuck there forever? With a PG-13, now playing in theaters everywhere. The Red Hot Chili Peppers. This is their greatest hits collection. Featuring 16 of their best songs. I don't ever want to feel like I did that day. The wait is over. Now, for the first time ever, you can own their greatest hits on one CD. Standing in line to see the show tonight and there's a light on. The Red Hot Chili Peppers Greatest Hits features two brand new songs, only available on this collection. Get the Red Hot Chili Peppers Greatest Hits and receive this CD opener free. To order the Red Hot Chili Peppers Greatest Hits for $18.98 plus $4.95 shipping and handling, call the number on your screen or log on to onlyhitmusic.com. Hello, everybody. Kiss, 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 kiss. Who wants a glass of Sierra Mist? Sierra Mist? <sighs> yeah, it's kind of like that. Please, everybody, come sit and chat. Yes, of course I will sit. I will sit in this chair. I will sit here. I will sit there. I will sit in this chair. I will snack on Lay's stacks. These stacks are good snacks. Can I have some, Max? Of course you can, Sandy. Here. Here you go. To pump up your party and give it a twist, load up on Lay's stacks and Sierra Mist. The curtain is rising on a brand new season of Premium Blend. Let's make some babies! 
That's awesome. Where 48 new comics step into the spotlight and deliver the next wave of stand-up comedy. I'm so gay, I can put a lisp in the word cracker. Starring D.L. Hughley. The gritty underbelly backstage, making it happen. Don't miss Premium Blend premieres tomorrow at 10, here on Comedy Central. I woke up in the ambulance, and I was looking at nothing but white people staring down at me. I said, oh, God. I'm around, wind up in the wrong fucking heaven. I wouldn't like to go to heaven. Can you imagine being in heaven playing a harp? Sitting on a cloud, eight billion motherfuckers practicing. That's a terrible sound. The star-studded salute to the funniest ever to set the mic on fire. Richard Pryor, I Ain't Dead Yet. Sunday at 10 on Comedy Central. fuck am I supposed to judge? These guys are fucking jerk-offs. I don't know, Kenny, Spenny, it's hard to pick a winner. The RPR fucking runs in like a fucking idiot with a fucking mask, jumping around like a fucking retard. Mr. Nice Guy, you fought a good fight, you bled like a pig, but then you broke character. It's a cardinal fucking sin, dude. You can't break character. Tyson, let me go. Tyson, what's going on? What the fuck's going on? You gotta expect the unexpected. You gotta think on your feet. So the winner, in my mind, is Kenny. This is fucking bullshit. The winner, Yark Yark. Everybody turned against me. Folks at home, it's true what they say. Nice guys do finish last. As a humiliation for losing the Who is the Best Professional Wrestler competition, I talked the Iron Sheik into coming back. What? Yeah. Oh, Iron Sheik! Yeah! Sheik, I have brought you the greatest gift known to man. The biggest pussy in the world, and I want you to fuck it. This guy hates you. You take care of him, Sheik. Bless you. You are the greatest all-time wrestler in the history you. of the world. You can be the Iron Sheik. I never, I never said a kick! Ow, ow, Sheik, no! Ow, ow, Sheik, no! Ow, where am I now? Ow, 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 Sheik, Jesus! Ow, ow no, Sheik, ow! Ah. Ah. Turn it on next to camera! Ah. Ah. Ow! Anybody ah. wants to see the Iron Sheik camera prize, give me a hell yeah! yeah. What do you want to even close the door? Yes, Sheik. Yes. Anything you demand. That's it. Oh, yes. Ow, ow. Yes. Oh. Put his hand under my knee. Oh. No, this is my Come on, you pussy. Yeah. Give me the beer bottle. No. The Sheik is demanding a exactly. beer bottle. No. Ah. No. Ah. Oh, fuck you. Just slow. Put him down. One more time. Yes, sir. Put him down. No, this is fucking... Put him down. Ah. Put down one more time. Ah. the chap win. Not that Hollywood blonde. Fuck it, Hulk Hogan. Fuck Hulk Hogan. Fuck you are war. You are embarrassing for our sheik to, to you go sell yourself for the money to somebody fuck your ass because you are a whore piece of shit. Fuck you are to war. Fuck Hulk Hogan. Fuck war, Brian Belair. Like Paul said, how many times you piece of garbage Sold out by the Sun Square Garden, Charles Paulus, Tokyo Dome, Tehran Dome, German Dome, fuck all of you.
Hello, namaste, as we say in India. Um, I know none of you have done this sort of thing before, so I think what we're trying to get across is the very basic tenets of meditation. So what we're trying to do now is just empty your mind of thoughts and worries and just trying to get some regular breathing and really relax your chakra. So eyes closed as you are and just gentle rocking back and forward. And as I say, when we start the chakra moving, we'll get the breathing in and out. So in and out. In and out. In and out. In and out. If you can just continue, keep the rocking motion, breathing in and out, emptying your mind of every distraction. What the fuck do you think you're doing? I'm trying to do a meditation course. You are totally ruining it. There's people in there trying to relax. You are getting on my bloody nerves. Now turn that off. I've had enough. And continuing breathing. In and out. In and out. I miss the earth so much. I miss my wife. It's lonely out in space. On such a time. I am this flight And I think it's gonna be a long, long time The touchdown brings me round again to find I'm not the man they think I am at home Hello. Oh. Good morning. Can I introduce you to, this is Buzz Aldrin, who is the American astronaut who was the second man on the moon. I'm just introducing him to people in the neighborhood. Oh. This is Buzz Aldrin. If you remember, Neil Armstrong was the first man on the moon. Yeah, I remember. And Buzz Aldrin was the second, so I'm just introducing him to people in the area. So this oh. is Buzz. But while we're here, while we're here, I'm just wondering whether you'd be interested in buying some of these tea no. towels. No, I'm made sorry. By, I've got some. Thank you. Made by me. No, no, sorry, no, I've got to Okay, plenty. all right, thank you very much. Come on, Buzz. Wish you were here With me in this fire We keep you warm You never feel tired
Like a hobo on a ham sandwich. I got to get with some of those jeans. Don't let anything stop you from satisfying your late night hunger. Taco Bell is open late. Spice up the night. Open till midnight or later. Elias, I have to go back to my convention. Yeah, I know, but I have a convention. Un auto allá. Bueno. Come on. I have to go to my convention. I know. I, I wish I could stay. <laughs> we got married. I, I, I have to go. I love you. I'll call you. But you know, one more thing. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you, smell so you think you're ready to ride with me? See what I see? Hear what I hear? They're getting all bunched up. Clear, clear. Let's rock and roll. NASCAR in car gets you in the car from flag to flag with seven NASCAR Winston Cup Series drivers. And it's only on digital cable. Just one thing no backseat driving. Order the NASCAR in-car package today and get the lowest price of the season. Call now. Get it on Comcast Digital Cable. Ugh. Stop using messy athlete's foot cream. Try new Gold Bond foot swabs. I've never seen anything like it. Just snap to release the only medicine proven to cure and prevent most athlete's foot. With no mess. New Gold Bond foot swabs. The no mess, no touch cure. Itchy feet, smelly feet, sweaty feet. Get Gold Bond Foot Spray or Gold Bond Foot Powder. Gold Bond does more. Gold Bond is medicated to help stop itch, stop odor, and keep feet cool and dry. Get more foot relief. Get Gold Bond and get on with it. The Daily Show with John Stewart. Now flirting with integrity. The department recently unveiled its new official seal, an undeniable improvement over the previous Homeland Security logo, an eagle pissing its pants. <laughs> Weeknights at 11, only on Comedy Central. Beware. Thieves are silent. In a public place, your personal property is at risk. Hold on to your belongings, please, before somebody else does. Got that? Russell Square or Russell Street? Russell Street. Ah, Russell Street. For the theater museum. First founded in 1832, uh, 1.2 miles long. It has several theaters in it, including the Palladium and the Savoy. And the theater museum itself uh, was originated in 1872. There's a four-story building just historically detailing the history of the theater. Which is where? Sorry? Where is it? I have no idea, I'm afraid. <laughs> Sorry. Darling, you are my heroine, the everything I need. Come into my arms, don't let me bleed.
this one, and I'll take you. Hello, sir. You can see someone just walked past here, have you? Uh, someone just gone past here. Cream trousers, blue top, green bag, beard, glasses. No, sorry. No? Cream, cream trousers, green trousers, blue top, green bag, holding a blue anorak with glasses and a beard, just running past here. I didn't see. No one? No. All right, sorry, thank I'll you very much. What job do you have that gets laid the most? I mean, on average. Man, do we have a job for these guys. The Man Show's all new with new host Joe Rogan and Doug Stanhope. Starting next Sunday at 10, only on Comedy Central. It's the winning season for the Hyundai Sonata. Ranked most appealing entry midsize car by J.D. Power & Associates. Protected by America's best warranty. 10 years, 100,000 miles. $2,100 less than a Toyota Camry when comparably equipped. And now, get an extra $1,000 cash back. The Hyundai Sonata starting at just $15,839 after $1,000 cash back. You're the winner at the Hyundai Winning Season Clearance. Going on now at your Hyundai dealer. Wicked. So you're gonna die like a rock star? It's the only way I know. Slap the 1-800 before collect is cake. Right on. 1-800 collect. Save a buck or two. Grab a rock. Fire! By Babylon 5 Season 3 on DVD. Travel through the jump gate into a universe of special features. See how aliens were created. Explore the design of Babylon 5 and much more. So the choice is yours. Babylon 5 Season 3. Buy it Tuesday on DVD. Play Taco Bell's Drink Big Win Gas Game. Buy a large or extra large drink and you can win instantly. Hundreds can win a year's supply of gas. Millions can win free food. To fill up both tanks, think outside the bun. Comedy Central Summer Movie Megaplex presents Dennis Leary as a thief who can pick safes, but not hostages. It shows me because I was alone. Shut up! I hijacked yeah, my parents. The Ref, Monday at 7.30, only on Comedy Central. Sponsored by Subaru. Hi. Hi. I'm here to Charles Gund. Charles Gund? Yeah. What about? Um, I've got an interview for the job and accounts. Sure. Hang on a sec. Do you want to sign in? Hi, I've got, um, what's your name? Michael, Michael Fellows. I've got Michael Fellows here for the interview for accounts. Okay. Do you want to take a seat? I'll be a second.
Hello. Yeah, he's here. Okay. Do you want to just pop through in there? They're out for you. Yes, we should see a 14% right... Gonna see the river man Gonna tell him all I can About the plan For light of time If he tells me all he knows About the way his river flows Sorry to bother you. Um, I'm just here introducing Carol Decker to people in the neighbourhood. You know Carol Decker? No, I don't. She's the lead singer of a band called Tapao, who are very big in the 80s. They did songs like Heart and Soul and uh, China in Your Hand. No. Okay, well, I'm just introducing her to everyone in the right. neighbourhood. So this is Carol. Okay. Good you, okay. Nice to meet you. Um, since we're here, I was just wondering, would there be any chance you might want to buy some clothes pegs? I'm selling some coloured plastic ones and some wooden ones that I made myself. No? no, no. Like no? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. Anyway, come on, Carol. Sorry, I'm going to a few seconds. I'm just watching something down there. Can I ask you just to wait for two minutes? Just keeping still, not saying anything. I'm sorry to bother you, but I just got it down there. You just hold back for two seconds. Sorry about this, but he's somewhere there. Jesus Christ, there he is. Tomorrow at 11, Rob Cordry hits the road with the monsters of government. Secretary Chow, will you sign my boob? For the Jobs and Growth Tour. Jobs and Growth! Jobs and Growth! Woo! The Daily Show with Jon Stewart, tomorrow at 11, only on Comedy Central. Two growth stuff burritos. Bring it on. <laughs> it's big, it's beefy, it's the grilled stuffed burrito from Taco Bell. Seasoned beef, three melted cheeses, sealed inside a grilled tortilla. The affordable heavy duty portables, just a buck ninety nine. For the heaviest meal on wheels, think outside the barn. Spice up the night, open till midnight or later. A female has lured a male into foreign territory. The dance floor. Dance poorly and she'll find him inadequate. Dance too well and he'll raise suspicions amongst the pack. Instinctively, he tries to escape. Or maybe not. It's from your friends. Nice. Rolling rock beer. Grab a rock. Old Navy. Cargo. Train. Starring the Foxy Styles of America. Here's your host, Shama Moore. Shake what your mama gave you in some Old Navy cargo. I 
think it's going around. Bring it on home. No Navy cargo starting at just $20. Love, peace, and cargoes, baby. Only at old. Sorry, go ahead. One, please. Here you go. I'm with him. Buy one ticket. Here's your free ticket. Get one free with a can of Coke. Now for a limited time at Six Flags Great Adventure, buy one ticket, get one free when you bring in a can of Coke. Come enjoy a full day filled with thrills at the new Superman Ultimate Flight, plus 12 more great coasters, including Nitro, Medusa, and Viper. Bring in a can of Coke for a buy one, get one free ticket, only at Six Flags Great Adventure. Hey, Deputy Johnson's having a baby. Who do I think is the father of Clementine's baby? I was looking for the phone book. I was just gonna go Reno 911, new episode, Wednesday at 10.30, only on Comedy Central. How do I feel when a bad guy gets away? Hey, you know, are we going to catch every bad guy? No. Are we going to catch half? No. Are we going to catch an eighth of the bad guys? Probably not. Are we going to catch some of the bad guys? I'm optimistic. Reno 911. New episode Wednesday at 10.30, only on Comedy Central. I'm not making any promises. Hello. Hello. Have you just been in there? Yeah. Um, I'm sorry to bother you, but there's two eight-year-old girls on the other side. I don't know if you saw them. No. But they've been shouting abuse at me and calling me things like, you know, nasty policeman and PC plod and Mr. Smelly and stuff. Oh, and I, I don't know what to do. They're sort of eight-year-old girls and they're throwing eight insults. Eight-year-old? Yeah. <laughs> How and nasty. They're, they're calling me Mr. Nasty and, and uh, they said that I was on fart beat and stuff like that. I don't like... Would you mind just walking with me Not there? Is that OK? Yeah. I'm just going to stay behind because... They're just over there. Okay, I think that's what we'll get. Hello, I am Sherlock, and uh, this is a very historical area, as you know, and I'll be taking you around here, uh, looking at some of the historical buildings, uh, looking at some of the events that have happened, and maybe even meeting some of the characters that have played such an important part in the whole area and the historical aspect of it. So this will be a three-quarter of an hour walk, and if you just follow me, we shall begin down the road. Excuse me, madam. I'm looking for the, uh, the big conference centre around here. Do you know it? There's a big executive conference centre. I've, um, I've just won the Young Businessman of the Year award, and they're having the ceremony for the Young Businessman of the Year, and I'm giving the keynote speech in five minutes' time, and, and I've no idea where it is, and obviously if I can't find it, my very important career crumbles at my feet. Yeah, you're doing You know, but I don't know where it is, you know. Is it on Abbey Road? I have no idea. Road? I don't know. This thing you know, to get a taxi then and get them to, um, you know. But there, uh, there isn't a big conference centre on this road. I'm going to be very, very Canada. honest with you, okay? Huh? I'm not in a good way. You're not in a My good wife's way. just left me. Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't worked for seven years. Yeah. Look, there's nothing in there. My life's a sham. I just show off about things I'm doing, but there is no Young Executive of the Year, and I haven't won it, and there is no keynote speech. Oh, I see. Well, uh, you haven't got I, any money, have you? I could in, in just. Any case. You haven't got ten pounds or anything to help me out. Because I'm, I've been lying to my wife, telling her I'm going to work every morning, but I'm not going to work. I just get dressed and go. Look, not even wearing any socks. 
I'm sorry. Back in Nagasaki, I got married to Cho Cho San. That was a name in those days. When I was a man. I gone back and visit her. But she got problems. She got a little Cho Cho. Cho Cho Sam was her name. And Mr. Taylor Wolf. Take it away, Cho Cho. Right, Carnaby Street, yeah. uh, interestingly, was established in 1842. Uh, it's about 900 metres long and was originally owned by Lord Farquhar, uh, who was made Lord under the Duke of Wellington. Okay. His three grandsons, interestingly, went on to set up the first Formula One racetrack here at Silverstone. Okay. Um, Carnaby Street itself has become a, a, an assorted medley of tourist shops and various things to visit oh. and has become a very much a hot spot for tourists here in London. I'm sure. So, where is that Carnaby Street? Sorry? Where's the street? I have no idea, I'm afraid. You don't know where it is? I just do historical detail, I don't know. Okay. Okay. I got too much energy to switch off my mind. I got it all for the time I He paid two quid. Has he paid two quid? Yeah. Just take anything you want. Just take that. I've had two relapses recently. I get panic attacks, which is why they sent me down here. You know, I get very nervous. Not good for the nerves, all this. All I'm trying to do is help people, and they call me nipplehead and oink, oink, I smell bacon, oink, oink, I smell bacon. That's all I hear, you know, and smelly Bobby. This is Comedy Central. The best guy in the world. <laughs> you got a problem with that? You want to